Yeah, no, they didn't stand a chance. They didn't stand a chance. It was a good game, though. Okay. It was. It was a good game. And now we're going to play the Rams in the Super Bowl, which... Oh, that's who's in the Super Bowl. I didn't know who was in the yeah. Super Bowl. See, that's how much I pay attention. Yeah, so yeah. And a lot of people still um, boycotting the NFL or whatnot. And I could say, like, I honestly haven't watched a football game this whole season. Like, I haven't watched a single football game. But I know the scores, and when I found out the Patriots was going to the Super Bowl, I was like, yeah. My cousin is actually giving right a bus on. ride from Augusta to Atlanta. For the Do you Super know how much tickets are? Oh, my gosh. No, she's giving a so bus. So, tickets start at? Probably like 4000 Uh-uh. They start at 2800 and they go all the way up to like $7,000, $8,000. Mm-hmm. But Atlanta going to be on. And, that, and they're going to be in that new... um. Mercedes and they're going to be in that Mercedes Benz Theater. And so, I mean, um, the stadium, like you said. And it is phenomenal. I've never, like, been inside, but just, like, going to Atlanta and driving past, man, it is so beautiful from the outside looking in. That's still It is amazing. Atlanta going to be um, turned for the next few. I'm so, telling you, yeah. this government shutdown, they might need to turn up on security because there's going to be a lot of hate to Tom Brady, know, I'm telling um, you. The TSA, uh, people flying They still in. don't care. Yeah, they, they ain't really giving to. Matter of fact, I'm glad that you mentioned TSA. You know, um, this week, they said at the beginning of the week, it was one in seven um, TSA workers didn't come to work. <clears throat> By today, it's one in ten hasn't came to work. Y'all, if y'all out so, here yeah. flying, make sure you watch your back. <laughs> they don't care. They really don't. Make sure you checking out Matter what's going fact, on. There were some. I'm, I'm glad that we talking about this. There were some freaking airports where they don't even have. Boarding security. Stop it was on the news. I was watching it. I don't even watch the news much, but I was watching the news. And this lady, she was like, this is a major airport. And for us to not have security, this is ridiculous. No, the president is ridiculous. He is definitely ridiculous. <laughs> he's, he's ridiculous. TSA workers, I don't blame y'all I mean, for I not going be to work. I'm I sorry. wouldn't be working if I was if they wasn't service, paying me. Boy, I wouldn't care if they had a beam on you right about now. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, you're not paying me, bro. Like... I'm not doing it. I'm not working for free. But you know what? Corporate corporate welfare, right, was already into the budget. So all of the businesses and corporations that are funded through the government are still getting their checks. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's deep, right? But social welfare is the welfare that is being uh, uh, affected. affected by this government shutdown, which is really, really terrible. Yeah, because now they're saying even, like, I want to say by, like, next week, if it continues into next week, which it will. <laughs> the schools like free lunch programs they're they're running out of funding what? so they won't be able to offer free and reduced lunch wow so parents you better go ahead and use them um extra benefits that you got wisely or well, not say extra let me clarify early, early. benefits right 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 because you, you ain't getting early next benefits month. you wisely get because you month. don't have to be packing lunches if your student is on free or reduced lunch. Yo, this is deep. Like, this is really, really deep because it is like, like, who thought we would live through something like this, you know? It makes me feel like old. Like, we had, like, back right, in the day. Like, <laughs> right, well, when we get old, we're going to be telling our kids, yeah, remember the government yeah, the shut government down. Yeah, the government shut down. We had know, that horrible president. Back in <laughs> 2019, they're going to be like, what? I'm telling you, man. It's crazy, but it is so real, y'all. This man, legit... It's like a, he's like a big he, bully. He is a bully and he's a big kid. Like, I just read something, um, breaking news alert, that the, the Senate is working out a deal with the president to open up the government for three weeks. And after the three weeks, his what he wants from them is for them to put a deposit down on the wall. <laughs> He's Man. out of control. Oh, he gonna put them on a payment plan? I'm stuff? guessing so. Like, for real, what's wrong with him? I'm sick of him. I'm still confused by, like, what this wall is gonna do because you can still come in from the East Coast and the West Coast. You I'm see, they made the joke so that the, the, um, the president from Mexico is gonna build the stairs when he builds the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? why not? Like, I don't even... I don't even understand. You know, there are parts of Texas and Mexico that you can walk right over. Uh huh. Just like Augusta and North Augusta. I like mean, literally, that's how the border is. And the thing about it is, honestly, that's how it is in Florida. So I don't even understand where he's trying to put the wall. 
Like, is the wall going to go confused. across the entire United States, or is it just going to be right at one specific border? Because, I mean, we have a border all along the south coast of I'm really America. Con- I'm confused by it, for real. I don't know what So, is it going to stretch doing. from coast to coast? No, because, no, it doesn't look like it. looks like it's just like uh, the Gulf Coast is what he wants to cover. And I'm guessing that's just so the Mexicans can't come into the United States. But that's so retarded because, I mean, like I said, in Florida, they can come. From every which way they want to. That's what I'm saying. It's water. I'm com- I'm totally confused. But uh, what about the people that can fly? They don't even have to like. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, gonna, like, like like the wall ain't gonna go into the sky. It's not <laughs> gonna go that high. I'm how tall is it supposed to be? Anyway? I don't even I know. I don't even know. I'm I'm t- utterly confused by this wall and what its sole purpose is and what it's gonna stop like. Is he going to put, like, barbed wires on it? Is he going to tase you and kill you if you touch it? Like, what is yeah. he going to do? Like, yeah. I'm confused. Like, I how think is... it's really ridiculous. Yeah. I just think it's really but ridiculous. Donald, knows. we said we wouldn't give you no more time on God is Gossip. Right. Last we week. just wanted to mention that. I don't even know how yeah. we got from football to that, but it, it, it kind of We, we got there because the TSA and people going to be flying right. in, in and out in of Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got to be mindful. Atlanta, Atlanta, people in Atlanta. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't got a ticket... Don't even go out there and um, what they call it? What is it called? Tailgate. Blue? Don't even go tailgate this this Super Bowl because it might get crazy out there for real. Right. And, and Atlanta, they, Atlanta they Police Department the cannot. Security. Atlanta Police Department cannot uh, uh, handle all of that. They got officers coming from. Uh, y'all can't handle it. They got they can't handle it, but they got officers coming from here. Oh, also, so it's coming, coming from, from everywhere. Well, County. pretty much all over the place. I'm assuming. I mean, they're going to have to because that's a major event. And then think about next month is the All-Star Game in, in Charlotte. So if it doesn't... Oh, I want to yeah, go to that one year. Yeah, the All-Star Game is in Charlotte next next month. So we, we should go see. next year. Yeah. Let's go do be a great it. I went to see Double I A weekend last year. It was pretty cool. It was all right. CIA. Whatever I did, whatever I said, did I yeah. say it wrong? You said double I A. I know what you <laughs> whatever you know, they know what I'm talking about. Y'all I don't know what I'm be talking knowing. About. I don't keep up with basketball, but I do know. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. You, as long as you know what I'm talking about, they right. know. Look, they know. If we say Charlotte and it's associated with C I A A, however many I said, y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, but anyway, so our moment in media. For the real moment in media, right? For real, for real. For real, for real. Is this Chris Brown situation. Chris Brown being um, brought up on rape charges in Paris. So Chris is out in Paris, y'all. And he out there chilling, doing his little breezy thing. He's doing a music video. That's what he was out there for. And he was out there doing his Paris Fashion Week. Mm-hmm. So he out there. He's know, so awesome, man. He's like the goat of our time right now. He like, is, and he out there my, doing my age. Yeah, age. Right oh, age. Oh, she she eliminated me out of there. My bad. My bad. <laughs> He's the goat. She eliminated my me. So he goes out here and he meets up with some young lady, and she meets him out at the club, and she follows him back to his hotel, and him and two of I believe his security guard and another person. Afterwards, she went and she found uh, that they allegedly raped her and drugged her. And so, Chris and the other two people were detained by Paris police. And legally, they could have detained them for up to 48 hours to question them. And so, that's what they did. And what I don't like about this situation, though, is that he's come so far since the uh, situation with Rihanna in 2009. And he's grown so much. And they're trying to drag him back into that light. And I just don't like it. Like, I'm not liking it. And when I first heard about it, I was like, I don't even think that's in Chris Brown's character to do that to a woman. Like, when I first heard it, my first judgment was, that's not in his character. I can't see him doing that with him having a daughter and how he carries his daughter. I think he learned the lesson from the situation that he went through in 2009. So I'm just sitting going, okay, so who is this chick and why does she think she could do this? And ladies, this is not cool for Man, y'all. he didn't do that sh- uh, stuff. He didn't do that sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> I hate when they be trying to sabotage black men. Like, they don't... I think, some, most of these people that be a legend, man, women throw themselves at them. What the heck I'm they sure doing? she. I'm sure she... I'm sure, I'm sure she threw it at him. I'm sure... If she she went to the hotel they probably ain't even and had followed no type him. of, you know, interaction. 
He said that they did not. He said that he didn't touch her. That's he why wasn't, he still lived his best life. Right he now. wasn't in a, he, he wasn't alone with her. He said that none of that stuff happened, and she's lying. But what I like about Chris is that as soon as he got out, he filed a lawsuit on her. Man, I said I love it, Chris. I love it because now, because you haven't, I haven't seen anybody retaliate. I haven't seen the man retaliate yet. But I'm happy to see him say, okay, so if this is what you said, I did. You're defaming my character, so I'm going to sue you. Mm -hmm. And legally, in Paris, this young lady, if her allegations are found to be incorrect, she can go to jail for up to five years. Good. And that's good for her because that'll teach her not Mm -hmm. to tell a lie and be lying on people. That's just so ugly like it's such bad behavior and as as k-love just said like it just seemed like they just trying to take the black man down like it wasn't to me a coincidence that he just got all of the rights to all of his mastering and everything and here she comes talking about suing somebody for a lawsuit what are you serious he raped you she's trying to get some bread boo you ain't getting no bread you may go to jail i hope you go to jail because that's just really bad behavior. I'm hoping somebody taught you better than that to just do that to people. Because you can't do that. That's this is his life, mm-hmm. his livelihood. You can't. He could. What if he? They wouldn't have believe believed him. But the thing about it is, you know, the jail. damage is already done. This is what bothers me is about right. the fact that they allow this type of stuff to even be released. Because I feel like certain things of that nature, especially when it's regarding. Um, celebrity so to speak i feel like it shouldn't be released until it's actually confirmed you know i'm with saying? you i'm definitely like you don't don't sabotage this person's character because a lot of the time just because you get arrested that will forever tarnish your character to certain people in the world like and i'm not just talking about black people like white people black people people, people will look at period. you differently mm-hmm. just because you even got arrested with that particular allegation behind your name right so i do believe that they shouldn't even be releasing this type of stuff if it is not already been proven to be so like it should not even get leaked like they should be sued the media company should be sued for even leaking it is how i feel because you got people looking at me all types of crazy now like imagine how many trolls that's what they call them, how many trolls you know responded to the situation you know at chris when it initially came out before they came back and said okay no we're gonna release him whatever the case may be yeah I, definitely but you know the media in the news now don't report real news they just make up stories yeah it's all propaganda it's all, yeah they, they just make and like you stuff said it's just about. a coincidence that it's well you didn't even say it yet but we're gonna say it. it's a coincidence that it is Right after him gaining the Masters. So right, he just stuff. gained the Masters to all of his... And, the, and if you think about Chris Brown and all of the music that he has, boy, look at here. He about to be pay, 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 pay. And so, yeah, she thought she was going to come up, but you ain't on no come up. <laughs> you may be <laughs> on come down. <laughs> you may be about to get taken down because I'm sure he's going to push it to the limit. And I, I, as he should. I, as he should. He How many times should. that man have been brought up? Matter of fact, this is the second time that he's had a situation of this nature. Not necessarily rape, but do you remember the other situation that he had where there was a white girl. She accused him of pulling a gun out on him in his house. Like, she said that she was in his house. I did. And he pulled a gun out on her. And at this point, like, bro, it was on CNN. It was on every news channel where you got cops outside of his house and they made it seem like he was having a standoff with the cops. Actually, that's what was reported, that Chris Brown, like, the news headline was that Chris Brown was in a standoff with the cops because he wouldn't come outside of his house because they didn't have a warrant. Um, They were just there based off of the story of this young lady saying that he pointed a gun at her. Ridiculous. And that ended up washing away in the wash because it ended up being, you know, fake news. Why, why are these people not being held accountable? If we call and make a false claim, they're going to hold us. Huh, we're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> With no bail. Okay. So I just, that, that one, I thought that one was crazy. Like, literally, if you would have watched the news, it was like, this is his house, and cops were all around his house. And they were trying to say that he had a gun. Of course, because the girl said that, you know, he put a gun to her. So they're like, he has a gun, and they were trying to get him to come out the house, but they didn't have a warrant. So he literally was on live. I was watching his Instagram live, because he was on Instagram live 
while it was going on, and the boys is outside trying to get him to come out of the house. And he had everything. When it was all said and done, he did end up, you know, going to the police station simply to clear his name because it did not happen. But the girl ain't nothing happened to her. Ooh. Well, this young lady. That's why I feel some type of way, and that's why he's he has every right to go ahead and bring this lady up on every charge. Because Paris law is a little different than ours. He can bring her up on a defamation plus criminal charges. So everything that they could throw at her, throw it at her. Throw it at her, Paris. I'm just saying. Give it some. All right. So that's that with our moment, moment in media. media. <laughs> Y'all, ease up on my boy Chris Breezy. He's dope, man. I like Chris Brown. Appreciate him. Like, he's so amazing. Like, there's nothing that this man... This man released the freaking album that had, like, 70-something songs on. Quality. Quality songs. Not just no garbage. Was it Fame? It was his album? It it came out... I want to say it came out last year. I forgot the name of it, but it was literally, like, 70-something songs. Really? Chris Brown is so dope. Like, that lets you know that he, he always And he still has it. an arsenal of more music. Like, and he's been doing this since what? 16? He was 16? Right. And he what, 29? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, he's been in the game for a minute now. So. Tappahannock, Virginia. He's doing it for y'all. He's really putting on for y'all big time in a major way. And he's up on him, man. Because he's dope. We don't, he doesn't need to be one of them people that they apologizing after he's long gone. Like, I hate that. Leave Chris Brown alone. Let him be great. Chris, we support you here on Goddess Gossip. Yeah. <laughs> we got your back. And Z. All right. So, tonight's topic is one that is really good and juicy for the ladies. Ladies, we need y'all to tune in. Get your pens. Men too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all need to know no, this I'm stuff, too. Men need to know this stuff, They need too. to know, too. But the ladies Wash need to know. Wash your dirty hands. <laughs> Wash your hands. Cut your nails. Yes. <laughs> I'm so, saying. Tonight's topic is about vaginal health and wellness. Yes, yes. yes stay on yes. top of that stuff. Yes, guys. you gotta stay on top of her. Keep her nice and clean. And if y'all have some questions, y'all wanna drop some stuff on Jamila's live. She Please. is live on Facebook. Jamila Dukes. By all means, do so. Because this one, we want to be very interactive. Like, y'all really need to be I'm about in to invite with some people. Because they need to, <laughs> y'all need to be knowing what's going on. Yes. Uh, with the stuff that we were going to talk about is very in-depth. So, I will say in advance to, you know, just be mindful that um, this this ain't for the kids. So, put the kids to bed. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, tune in to Goddess Gossip so we can have this conversation for the nation. Because this one right here is definitely very relevant, man. Valentine's Day coming up. We want to make sure that y'all take make care sure of yourself. Make sure it's copacetic. Okay. <laughs> 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 want to make sure that y'all taking care of yourself. Without further ado, though, we definitely want to go ahead and allow our lovely guests to go ahead and introduce <laughs> yourself, darling. Hello, y'all. <laughs> My name is Demetria Blunt. I'm a holistic health practitioner um, and a yoni steam practitioner as well as a energy therapist. Yoni is for the vagina. Vagina, vagina, yeah. Herbal hydrotherapy for women's health. Oh, I can't wait to find out what that is. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's she's amazing. But for sure, for sure. How long have you been doing this stuff? I've been a therapist for 15 years, but um, I've been doing herbal hydrotherapy for, well, yoni steaming for about... Um, Two years now. I started with myself. I wanted to be a product of my therapy. So I started with myself first. I worked on myself for a year. And then I just pretty much opened up for service to help other women um, right after that. Yeah. Cool, cool. And I have to ask you, um, no, we're going to get into that later. Never mind. We're going to get into that later. And so what's the name of your um, practice? Divine Feminine Wellness. Is that what you are on social media? Yes, Divine Feminine Wellness at Divine Yonis on Facebook. Yes. Divine Yonis. Divine Yonis. They need to be divine. I'm <laughs> telling you. They are the portal yeah. of life. We got, like, we got some good stuff. I just had a baby. I need to go ahead and get my Yoni stuff. Yes, you know. I got you. Let's you know, you know, you know. <laughs> After birth and do some stuff now. <laughs> so, go ahead, Jamila. Oh, Jamila, Jamila inviting the people. So, that's what I did want to ask you, and that is, what is energy therapy? What are the benefits 
explain that to me. I need to know. Okay, so we'll start. Do you um have you ever heard of uh, Reiki? I have. You I don't know what it is, but okay. I've heard of it. I've seen the word. Let me say it that way. Okay, so I'll start with. So you know your physical body has an anatomy, but also you have an energy body that extends about the arm's length distance away from your physical body, which also has an anatomy. So it's believed that a lot of things that manifest in your physical body first manifest in your energy body first. And so I'm a therapist of the physical body and the energy body. We speak the language. We say, girl, I'm so tired, that's your energy level. Girl, I am hyped up tonight. Your energy is high. Um, I can't talk to that girl because she's draining me. We speak the language, but we really don't understand it. So it takes consciousness, and so I'm here to tell you that, being conscious of your energy hygiene, and um, I'm a therapist of it. So I, I teach people on how to be conscious of their energy hygiene, how to cut off you know, things that they don't need in their life that's draining their energy, and that's manifesting disease inside of their bodies. Y'all hear this? I'm look. If y'all could see how I'm looking at her, my face was just like mouth water. <laughs> so basically, you're saying your energy can manifest stuff. The energy around the you energy can around manifest you. stuff inside of your body. Yes, yes. Mm. The things that you allow in your space, they can manifest inside of your body. So. I specialize in womb work. So um, if you think about different partners that you decide to be with, so they sometimes. carry with them energy that you invite into your energy field that can manifest inside of your physical body. I posted that yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we got to be mindful. Consciousness is, is key right now. Consciousness mm -hmm. is key. Girl, listen, y'all better be mindful of them energies. I already told y'all a long time ago that soul ties was real. And here we real, go. Real, real. Yeah, she done gave us real. the whole business and letting you know it really is real, real. <laughs> so you have an energy outside of you that can yes. manifest within. Yes. How long have you been doing this? What got you into this? You know, I think it was just um, like divine order or something. You know, I, I just ended up. I started, um, I was in the military, and then when I got out of the military, I had issues going on with my neck. So I went for self-care, you know, I wanted to find out without using drugs, without using just Western medicine, trying to do surgery, I wanted to find a, um, a way to take care of myself on a natural way. So I started massage therapy. Then I started noticing that a lot of clients kept coming in with the same thing, the same thing over and over again. So I said, you know what? It's something deeper. And that's when I learned about the energy field. And so I started to look into the energy field with myself. So I started with me first so that I can see it in my clients. So you start with yourself and then you see it in other people around you. And so from there was the therapy. That's how I started um, treating clients, physical and spiritually, energetically. Good deal. Yeah. She found that kind. The first night I met her, it was me, her, and La, and we had this whole enlightening spiritual moment. We did, pr we did pranic, pranic, uh, healing. pranic healing. Yes. We did energy work. We touched palms with each other and try, La, um, La from that used to be a humanity. Okay. Mm -hmm. We did breathing. We did fire breath. We was in there. Oh my gosh, that was intense. It was so. I enjoyed it though. That intense. Was, that was good. So where I had a labradite stone on, right? And that night when I got home, my stone shifted colors. Mm -hmm. It changed a totally different color, and I was like, my energy shifted. It was amazing. Yeah. It was like. Something that all women, I want to say, should experience like that, that sisterhood, that bond. Like, it was our first time meeting, and I could have sworn you could have told me that we've been friends forever. We just were sitting there talking to each other, having, girl, for real. Yeah. We were sitting there <laughs> laughing and crying and everything. It was just so amazing. And we was, it was, it was really, really good. She does carry an extreme, major, beautiful energy about herself and that's why when we came up with this topic I was like yo we gotta get Demetria to come on because she's really really dope thank you guys you're welcome <laughs> okay so into our next question how does a woman's diet 
affect how she smells down it is, there. It is key. It mm. is key. Mm. Um, you think about the things that you put inside of your body. It's it's supposed to be fuel. You think of your body as this mechanism, this beautiful divine mechanism. Mm -hmm. You feed it food for energy for its work, and so. If you're bringing in junk, junk's going to manifest inside of your body and junk's going to come out of your body. Mm. Junk in, junk out. So if um, you're eating foods, say, I'm going to speak on this because a lot of people know about asparagus, right? If you think about asparagus, it has some kind of chemical way of, of when you eat it, and you go to the bathroom, you smell it. Okay. So it's like that. So if you're eating asparagus, um, don't eat it before, you know, the dinner, before you know you're about to get busy that night because you will definitely smell. You will smell like <laughs> asparagus down there? You wow. will definitely smell. So I'll just use that as an example. What um, other foods? We need to know. We need to know what's going on. We need to know what okay, we need to know of now. Don't, don't be smelling like asparagus. You know, don't <laughs> sure. eat it's collard greens and stuff. Collard greens actually is good. Really? Every green leafy vegetables are beautiful. The JJ loves green leafy vegetables because it's good for the alkalinity of the body. Okay, so that's how it was your yeah. pH balance. Yes, down it there. does. Oh, we're gonna get yes, into it the does. pH. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So it really and truly helps with that. What other foods? You got a list here. We yeah, need to know all these foods and what they do. Sweet and, potatoes. I'm, where's oh my, my pen at? You know, you I love it. One. Sweet potatoes. You can eat sweet potatoes every day. Especially our ladies out there that's, you know, that's working out and, and really trying to um, do some squats and build up their sweet so potatoes I, is really so good So I need for to it. eat some sweet potatoes every Girl, you day? you can eat some sweet potatoes. You can eat sweet potatoes I love raw sweet potato. like a snack. And you can put a little um, butter on it, a little cinnamon. Put it in the oven. Sweet potatoes. And what do they do? Sweet potatoes. So a big thing about sweet potatoes um, for our ladies that's that's trying to get pregnant is um, packed with beta carotene. So it's really good. It helps strengthen and protect the uterine walls and the walls of the vagina. And a lot of ladies that suffering from um, polycystic ovary syndrome. I got that. It really helps with that. As well. Look, Jews, you said poly. Oh, yeah, that's yep, me, PCOS. Yep. That's what they call yep. it in the world. Mm -hmm. PCOS. So, so sweet potatoes is good for PCOS. Let me yes, get you is. some sweet potatoes. Yeah, and green leafy vegetables. She loves All vegetables. Of kale, okay. collard greens, char. Every every green leafy vegetable help with PCOS. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probiotics. Okay. You know, you want to make sure that. Um, there are certain drinks. Um, it's this drink called kombucha. Yeah, okay. I've seen that. I've seen it. Yeah, kombucha is really good. It's good probiotic. Is it, it good also, though? Like, does it taste? You know, good? it all depends on which flavor you get, honey. Cause because I'm about to say, I've heard that it don't taste good. You know, some of them they could have just left left by itself. But you know, there's some uh, cosmic. I believe it's called. Um, cosmic brand <laughs> that um that you can use that's really good that you can yeah kombucha we don't have to, juice. Some mm -hmm. juice. Don't have to make a list for y'all you don't see me stuff. i'm writing my list Get, i don't know what you're talking about well i didn't get you my book so you make sure you take good notes oh. of it Love. That's good. That is good stuff. Okay, yeah. any anything else oh, we yes. should eat? Apples. Apples. You know the whole thing, apple a day keeps the doctor away. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh-huh. <laughs> we always just think, uh-huh. I'm going to tell you, this is a beautiful thing to have in your refrigerator. Have apple juice and pear juice. Apple it juice. It keeps the nectar sweet. Mm. Apple juice, pear juice, and it's um it's packed with it's it's good fiber. So you want to keep things moving, you know. If if and, and I'm gonna talk about um, constipation, then you talk about diet. If you're not moving, mm -hmm. it's sitting in there, right? And where is it sitting? On top of the vagina. So I mean, vagina you're gonna. Like, I've I'm never gonna thought about think that. About it. Girl. If you are backed up, if you are backed up, <laughs> oh, you have never... toxins 
from food that you've eaten. It all depends on how, how frequently you eliminate. You have those toxins inside of your body. They're in your body. They're on top of your vagina. You look at your anatomy. <laughs> she got me over here going, what? So you want to eat foods that's, that's rich in fiber to keep things moving. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I see more stuff on right. there. Yeah, okay, come on now. Thing. So one thing about the apples, um, um, it stimulates blood flow to the vagina. We need blood flow. And that's one of the big things that um, I preach about when it comes to doing yoni steaming. Yoni steaming, the biggest belief of yoni steaming is to um, encourage proper blood flow to the womb, to release the body of stagnation. Good yeah. deal. To release the body of stagnation. So um, apples, really good for stimulating blood flow to the vagina. Um, it promotes better sexual function, lubrication, and the ability to have orgasms. What? It's something about the apple. About about the apple. Orgasm? Yeah, yeah, Google it, y'all. y'all it's something in the y'all. apple that's, that's... The red one or the green one or the both of them. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. Which one? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Which one? Experiment. Be your own project. You know, experiment with it. She's about to um, have me just eating green leafy potatoes. And, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Citrus. Wow. Citrus. So you can get... Here's, here's a... Um, a recipe that I put together. I get a grapefruit, one grapefruit, and two oranges. And I juice those. Don't juice the, the rind. Okay, you know that. But juice the grapefruit, two oranges. And this really helps with mucus. Hmm. It helps with mucus. So, um, you know, if you have mucus upper respiratory and you have mucus down there as well that may not be you know we have our um uh, mucus of the vagina if it's if it's off a little bit you can actually help normalize it with citrus hmm yeah you know what? Yeah, yeah. Girl. <laughs> avocado. This is probably the finest I've been for a minute. I was my pen steady working. Okay, avocados. Avocados. What I hope y'all got y'all pen and pencil. Because we, we is over here again. definitely taking good notes. Okay, so is, avocados. What does the avocado do? Um, libido. Mm. So if, you so know. So it's good for guys it, too? It, it's good for both. It's healthy fats as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. An avocado, um, it, it actually has um, uh, about six grams of protein. So it's a, a pretty good, and avocado is actually a fruit, not a vegetable. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah and it's, it's really good for you. Let me see what else I got for y'all. I, I think that's, yeah, that'll at least start you off. That'll, that'll yeah. start you well, off. Well, ladies, apple what juice. What about watermelon? Oh, Yes. That's my favorite. Yeah. That's really hydrating. Right. Pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapples. That's, that's the one right. that everybody, everybody, everybody know about pineapples. Citrus. That's right. citrus. Mango. Mm-hmm. Mangoes. Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah. Kiwi. Cranberry. Mango. Cranberry is really good when it comes to um, fighting off infection. You want to oh, prevent yeah. infection. You want to eat cranberries. Now, you want to get the cranberries that's bitter. So you want to eat the cranberry? You want to drink the cranberry juice? Or even the juice, juice. that's disgusting. Trust me, yeah. I had some at Walmart. So it is worth disgusting. It. It's disgusting. When I say it's disgusting, <laughs> I have, I have but it helps. But it helps because I had a kidney infection, and I always make sure I get a hundred percent cranberry juice, no sugar added. Right. And bro, when I tell you that, it was so nasty. It was mm-hmm. like hard to bear to get it down. But I promise you, it got that infection right away. And you can mix it with apple juice. Mix cranberry juice with apple juice. Yeah, it'll take that that bite off of it. Yeah, because you know it got a it got a, a pit bull. <laughs> <Yeah. with that. laughs> Y'all should have just seen her face. <laughs> okay, cranberries. Mm. Good deal, y'all. Y'all better. I hope y'all got y'all grocery list. Cause I got mine. I got mine. I'm <laughs> you heard yeah. me? I got my grocery list. Yeah. Groceries yeah. for the JJ. Yes, go get this. You got to shop oh, for your body parts. That's right. That's right. Oh, cucumber too. Cucumber is really good. What you know that old. Oh, you know that. Um, uh, you know that summertime um, snack. You get the cucumbers and, and, tomatoes. and tomatoes. Yes, and with the vinegar. This is my pregnancy mm. craving every single time, man. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good for the alkalinity of the body. You don't want to be too acidic. 
because if your body is acidic, then the pH balance of your vagina will reflect. Absolutely. And she has her own ecosystem, but what? it all depends on what we're bringing into our bodies. She got so her own ecosystem. She has her own ecosystem. Mm, 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 mm. That was good. That was, yeah, that was worth that was, Look, that was worth the show right there, y'all. Y'all don't know. I got my grocery list, I'm just saying. So, I guess we kind of got into it, you know, as far as how does the diet affect how you smell. Y'all better be mindful of what you... Eating don't be eating whoppers and Big Macs all day. Right. If you if you want him to go down there and it smell like one is smell smelling like, like juices and berries, <laughs> you better be eating juices and berries. Said, you better be right. doing that's the right, right thing. Get, get yeah. your now, what about juice. dairy? What is the impact on dairy? And then we're gonna go to the next question. I promise you, we're gonna get away from it. What is dairy? Well, you know, it all depends. This is what I've learned that it all depends on your body and how you receive dairy products. Some people it'll completely throw their body off. Others, it it works well with them. You know, um, of course, eating yogurt will help with its probiotic. Right. So it really helps with that. Um, so yeah, like I like I said, be your own project when it comes to that. Test and try and see how your body responds to the things. And then go from there. And what about everything alcohol? Ain't for I, I said that was the last one, but I know somebody out there just want to know what do alcohol do? Because they always you know, want to be buzzed. I'm gonna tell you before about they get engaged and stuff. Sometimes, especially, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak <laughs> on this one. It um, alcohol does throws off the pH balance of the vagina. See, ain't y'all glad that I asked about it that? It does throw off the pH. You would love to have a little sip, sip of champagne. A uh, little, oil, little, you know, as my grandma call it, oil, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> little sip of oil. But it does um, cause um, your partner will definitely um, taste the difference. Yeah, but they probably tipsy too, so they probably won't even pay attention. <laughs> At that but, point, you know, they probably they are. They probably will, but just to let you know, just you so know, y'all aware, so you know. in case y'all ain't indulging together, mm-hmm. you better be mindful that you gonna, yeah, be a little tart. <laughs> <laughs> this show was so funny. <laughs> this is but it's, so it's necessary, man. It's it's necessary. It is definitely necessary, necessary because there's so many women that really don't have an idea, especially, I don't want to say it because I, I feel like I'm a big girl myself, but you know, there's bigger girls than me. And y'all need to know you got to be mindful of what you're eating. Yes. You better indulge in some fruits and green leafy veggies, is what I'm saying. Because it already. Oh, you eat this fried chicken. Yeah. He may not want to go down there. Yeah. And for the love of yourself, just do research. Research. We're not doctors. Let's put that. We're not making any medical claims. That's right. That's the disclaimer. You know how they. Disclaimer. At the end of the um, commercials, they about. (laughs) (laughs) So that was the disclaimer (laughs) right there for y'all. We're not doctors or none of that. We're just telling you what we know based off of. Um. Yeah. The research. Her expertise, right. she is a holistic <laughs> health she practitioner. Living, okay? Yeah, this is what she does. That's why we sit here writing notes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm telling you, they don't got their notes. They crazy because I'm gonna have to put this up on the wall. Mm-hmm. You know how you got your grocery list on the fridge? Just come get on the fridge. <laughs> oh. Apple juice, pear juice, mm-hmm. for real. For real, for real. I got some good stuff here. I'm yeah. telling you. Oh, almonds. Uh, it keeps coming out. It Go ahead. Keeps... See, it's necessary. No, nuts. Blue ink is a good to, one. We need to know to... this stuff. <laughs> Some women Almonds don't are really know good. Mm-hmm. Especially y'all people that be in a club. Y'all be... Uh-oh. Almonds. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for the form. Yeah. Inflammation. Mm-hmm. Oh. Almonds are good for body. inflammation. Yes. Yeah. So we just was trying to give y'all a little bit of, you know, information on what you need to mm. know. We just trying to give y'all the pregame for Valentine's Day because we right. need y'all to be smelling you know, good don't, all day. When Valentine's Day come, don't go smelling like the faux faux. Don't sleep. Trying to put you on game. Trying to put you on game early. Get you some sweet potatoes. You is yeah, silly. right. Just with some apple and pear juice. Sip on that for like three days before that the date. Grapefruit and what you say? Grapefruit and orange. And grapefruit One grapefruit orange. and two oranges. One grapefruit, two oranges. Juice them. Mm-hmm. Juice them. Go ahead and drink that. Might have to do that. Mm-hmm. And eat an apple. Stimulate the blood flow. Apple a day. Stimulate the blood flow. <laughs> Stimulate the blood flow. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I love it. So we're going to go ahead for okay. real. Because we can stay on this one. There's so many food in the world. We will be on here forever. <laughs> Is it true 
that the clit mm -hmm. has more nerve endings than anywhere else in the body. Yes. Actually, it has about 8,000. Good That's God. why when when that you had that moment, you buy your whole body go into convulsions and stuff. Right. You'd be like, oh. yes, her only you dog. Have an out of yeah, body like, experience. Just, yeah. Yo, my niece, right? So funny. So she had that experience, right? I guess for the first time, and she come home and she said, Auntie, I don't know what he did to me, but I felt like I wasn't even in my body, <gasps> and I was cracking up laughing. I was like. How you feel? She was like, I know. I had to tell him, hold up, wait. <laughs> what is you doing to me? I ain't never felt like this before. I mm -hmm. said, welcome to the big girl. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that thing right there, boy, how your body going in the You would be like, what is going on? Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Lord, what did he do to me? Mm -hmm. Ooh, are you looking for him in the daytime? With Flash a flashlight, light. girl. <laughs> Stop playing. Yes. Shit. So yeah, that that's why I guess that's why it stimulates so that when you do have that when you have an orgasm, you are at that peak because if it's eight thousand nerve endings mm -hmm. in there. Right, like that's a ooh. lot. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot going on. In one spot. Yeah. And men only have four thousand. So if you oh, think so about that's that, why it's more intense for it's us. It's more intense for us. It's mm -hmm. so intense. Like the body is is so intelligent that when the gland becomes engorged with blood, it actually, um, the hood actually covers it slightly to keep from overstimulation. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. So they be trying to help us out. They try to help us out, honey. <laughs> you gonna have somebody, you gonna have somebody, you gonna have somebody really engaging in their activity and then be looking like, right. yeah. did the hood, did it move? You did it move? Look, right. you should. Cause if you ain't, you ain't doing it right, if the hood ain't move, bro. <laughs> If the hood ain't moving, you ain't doing it right. I'm gonna need you to make this yeah. hood move, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to make this hood move. That's a that's a whole meme. <laughs> <laughs> and it go over a whole bunch of people's heads though. But they wouldn't was... understand. They wouldn't understand unless they was listening to goddess. Gossip. Uh, yes, you gotta tune in. This is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. But yeah, that was I, that was necessary. I okay, so eight thousand. So women have eight thousand. Mm -hmm. Men have four. And men have four thousand. That's why they clench up a little bit and we just be like, hi, ah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they legs shake. They legs little, shake a little, little bit. Leg, you know, they, may, they may moan a little bit, but we be like, oh, about to, don't touch me. Wait a minute. Yeah. I need this moment. Right. Hold up, bruh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to have a breathe moment and all that extra stuff. Right. All right. Good so. information to know. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. All right. So it's our next it's question. What do you recommend women use to keep their vaginas clean and healthy? Well, thank you so much. Um, one good thing about it is that, excuse me. You don't need, you sure don't need bath and body works. You don't need, like, please touch on the it. women putting the soap down there and stuff. <laughs> Too much soap. I mean, you don't have to do all that. If you want it to smell nice and clean, eat the food. Eat the food. Right. Make it come from the inside out, right. because most of the products that um, that from that say Bath and Body Works or all these harsh soaps, it does throw your your pH balance off. Now, um, here's another thing: a lot of us, when we're taking a shower, we automatically get our rag, put soap on it, and we just go to town and go to washing. The best thing to wash your vagina is your clean hands. Wash it with your hands. Touch wash her. it with your hands. Get acquainted with her. Touch her. Go all in the folds of the labia. Oh, Lord. Pull it to the side and up and around. You need to clean her out. Clean her out. The outside of it will keep you fresh, will keep you balanced. I ain't gonna tell y'all how I wash my. Hair. <laughs> but we do want to know since you decided to. Make no, no, no. But just know that if you've ever had child, if you've ever given child birth to a child, right? When you know that they give you the little squirt bottle in the hospital, mm -hmm. and they make you clean with that. When I had my daughter, eleven years ago, that was the best thing that I have ever been introduced to in my whole entire life. You know, yeah. Because that little squirt bottle, honey. Let me tell you something. 
When my nephew was born, his mother had the baby. I was like, can I have your squirt bottle? <laughs> <laughs> that squirt bottle do things. Do some things. Yes, huh? it does. Yeah. And when you, after you clean yourself and you feel that, like, oh, that's like, whoo. It does. Yeah, like you something. just got to make sure that you stay clean like that. Mm-hmm. 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 You can even take a little, I found these little, um, I think it's like water aerosol cans. What? Yeah. I, I was like, what is this? It was water. It was in a can. And so um, I'll take that or either I'll just get a regular bottle, spray bottle, put some water in it, put a little essential oils in it like a, um, like maybe um, peppermint or. Oh, she's trying um, to take you somewhere. <laughs> if you, if you spray or lemongrass or lemongrass, you know, something mild, not a lot, but just a, just a little bit. Um, spray after you use the restroom every single time and pat dry. Uh-huh. Spray uh-huh. after you use the restroom uh-huh. and pat dry. So uh, a drop or two like of I'm peppermint school, oil. Mm-hmm. A drop or two of peppermint or lemongrass oil. You don't want to put a lot oil. because you don't want to throw her off. No, because that pepper and you don't want her to be on fire you either with that peppermint. <laughs> peppermint so I'm serious. <laughs> you be yeah. somewhere trying to find a cool rag. Yeah. <laughs> you put too much peppermint down yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, lemongrass is really good for um, you know, combating bacteria. So that's why yeah. I said a little bit of lemongrass or tea tree oil. But tea tree, you know, has a certain smell to each its own. Some people like it, some people don't. Mm-mm. I stick with the lemongrass. Yeah, lemongrass it has a better smell than tea tree, and it pretty much. You can actually make it like if you wanna. Do like a uh, tea tree and coconut oil and put it on a yes. tampon and let it sit mm-hmm. and insert it and let it, you know, marinate overnight. It do good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard that. I've tried it before. It does good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all teaching me stuff. This, this is for, listen, young women. Because y'all the ones that be out here selling out Victoria's Secrets and Bath and Body Works. We just trying to let you know that's for your extremities. Mm-hmm. Please don't, don't, don't put down that there. down there. Yeah. Then be wondering why you You're baking stuff. cakes and yeah. such. <laughs> <laughs> baking cakes. Keep it gentle. I can't. Well, huh? <laughs> so that's a cool <laughs> tip to take a small water bottle mm-hmm. and put a drop or two of peppermint or lemongrass in it yeah. and spray it after every time you use the restroom. Yeah, yeah. But you know, even if you don't do the whole essential oils thing, because not all essential oils are made equally. Doterra oils. Doterra yeah. essential oils are the purest oils on the market because they come from one batch. I know that for sure because I use Doterra oils. So if you're going to use any essential oils, I would recommend that you use Doterra oils. If you don't have a, a, a independent distributor in your area, Google it, look it up, find up doTERRA representative, purchase from them, or either just go to the website and purchase from the the website. But doTERRA yeah. oils are fantastic. Yeah. 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 And they're uh, CPTG, certified therapeutic grade essential oils, best on the market, doTERRA. Yeah. You can also ingest them, right? Some yes, you can ingest can doTERRA ingest oils. Them. And most essential oil companies, you cannot ingest. No. They'll tell you to yeah. not ingest it. Right, right. I make uh, lemonade, lemonade and orange juice with doTERRA oils. Yeah. I take the lemon uh, and the wild orange oil, and I mix it together with oranges and lemons. It's bomb.com. I mm, you should have that with a veggie sub. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, blue set right. You see her face right. I'm saying, Jamila, okay. it's been a long time since I had a veggie sub. I'm just saying. Okay, I got you. I think I got one on reserve. <laughs> you do have one on reserve because I made it for you that night and I and I was going to bring it. it you was, was so like, late. it's too late. But I felt so bad. I was like, I have to take her this sandwich and I had it sitting on my counter. I had it all wrapped up all nice for you, too. Yeah, I was pregnant and I was out. It was a done deal. <laughs> but I kept my word and I made it. She did. I did. One thing about Jamila, it don't matter if it's 11.30. She tell you she's going to do something. She's going to come back on the door. That's whenever, awesome. Whenever it's I done. Do, I, do, I do my best to keep my word. Sometimes my night don't really slow down to like nine. All right. Um, so that's how we can keep our JJ's clean. And just in general, warm water is good. Like, you don't have to do all the extra stuff. Yeah, you don't have to do all the extra stuff. I mean, if you if you have a de- detachable, um, I was shower head. Spray, you know, get you a detachable head. shower head. Goodbye. Go on and let it Goodbye. You know, Goodbye. You know, shower head. Get, get, get more loving than you. Get get more loving than the man in the house. Go ahead, get you a detachable shower head. Oh my god! It will change your whole life. 
Like See, I kids, wasn't even going there. Look, y'all. kids get on your nerve. I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> Get away from the door. <laughs> Everybody about to get their whole whole shower remodeled so they can have a detachable shower head. Get you a detachable Good. shower head. It will change like, your life. over there. Good God. Every time I look over there, I just see a little blingage. Look. Oh. He blingage. It's, it's just a little something, something. You know? <laughs> he, said, he said, that's a little like, that ain't nothing, that ain't nothing. Oh, there is a product. I forgot. There's a um a product, a vaginal wash product. It's called Honey Pot. <clears throat> right. Honey pot. A sister from Atlanta. Is it good? I heard about it's this. Good, yeah, she has a whole product line. Okay, honey pot, honey pot. Honey pot. Honey pot. And juices does good too, right? The juices is the lady that's here. What's her name? The- Janessa Trapp. Yeah. And she has she has her line of you know honey pots. Uh huh. I'm honey looking pot. up honey pot right now. So I've seen somebody on social media just talking about her. I don't know who it was, if I was on Instagram or Facebook, but someone was just saying that they used her products. I think I found Wait, what I is think that? so. Okay, so this question right here. It's plant-based, feminine care. Mm-hmm. It's very interesting to me because I just found this out the other day when I was coming up with these questions. So explain what pelvic prolapse is. Yeah. So, this is a good one, ladies. Pay attention. <laughs> so you think about um, the anatomy of, of, of the vagina, and you think about the, the whole vaginal canal. And it is a smooth sheet of muscle. And sometimes the connective tissue of the muscle goes weak, and it could fold towards the bladder. Mm-hmm. It can fold backwards towards the rectum. Yeah. And also to I don't think I like the way this could, is going. <laughs> the cervix can actually this. come out of the vagina. Now there's a lot of different reasons, a lot of different causes for this. Um, it all depends. You know, you could have a rough childbirth and that could be the after effect. Um they obesity, put it back, right? Yeah, they have. It they can have go different. back. Yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm. 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 I'm, I'm gonna ask yeah. some additional questions to stop the question. Right. That's interesting. Right. I was reading this and it was like, you know, myths, myths of it, twenty myths of it. I was like, it could fall out. Yes. Say word. I yeah. was like, no, I gotta ask her this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, ladies, so toning the, keeping your tissue toned. Keep it keeping tight. The, Keeping it toned is oh, what's those things eat. that they got the eggs, the kegel, right? You yeah, can, they have the yoni eggs. Yeah, yoni eggs. Do, do your kegels, uh-huh. man. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah work them muscles. Or don't let them get loose and Ooh. and detach and fall out. That's just not right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not right. It's, that it's, has to be so right. gross, man. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, I can't. And I've had it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> she says, no, I can't. My whole stomach done been in people's hands. I don't want the other thing to be in somebody's hand. <laughs> Like hold the opposite up. way. Like bro, bro, be like, yo, babe, mm-hmm. your vagina. Fell no, out. ain't no man no, gonna I'm say your babe. Yo, I knocked it out. Yo, let's go. A man see that, he gonna run. That's gonna he be gonna the day. Die. He gonna be like, I'm done. Run. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. He, he gonna he, he gonna be you. done with vagina. He gonna be like, I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm just. I don't want that. No Could you imagine that story <laughs> telling his boys, yo? <laughs> We was in the middle But it does happen, happen to men too. Like, men, like, what fell out? Dude? What fell out? Yo, a oh vagina fell out. Yo, like, why? Yo, I have to fall oh, man. For real. But, but, Yo, but that's with, with, crazy. So with gay men, it can happen to them too, but it'll be the. Their rectum yeah. falling out? Yeah. yeah. Listen, mm. I'm not with it. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get your stuff all tucked back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Keep it tight and keep it right. Please. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Please that's don't. too much. Yes. We don't want y'all walking around with it outside of. No, that's yeah. not. So, this honey pot, she has amazing <laughs> things. Is not good. Mm-hmm. From like real pads and, you know, panty liners, tampons, mm-hmm. all of that stuff. Yes, yeah, guys. Yeah. That's, that's stuff. yeah um, mm-hmm. Pelvic prolapse. Look it up. Do some research. Yeah, no, you research. look it up, you might throw up. Don't just look it up, <laughs> but make sure you don't check the images. <laughs> no, we don't want to definitely not see no images. Yeah, know the warning signs. What are the warning the signs? Yeah, what of is the it? Warning sign? yeah, you may feel discomfort. I mean, a lot of people say they just they feel the discomfort um like at the lower part of their stomach. And a lot of these like, "Oh, I thought I had like um gas, uh, I was constipated." Yeah, but as they they stood up, they felt that pressure. 
And so this one lady I was reading, she's like, I, I stood up, I felt a lot of pressure and it was painful. So she went to her doctor and come to find out, yes, it had lab over her um, her bladder. And so she had had, you know, she was getting bladder infections and all of that, but she didn't know what was going on. So yes, go to the doctor. Do not self-diagnose. Because Google can tell you some stuff that yeah. you think you about to die for real. Right. Go to the doctor. Don't self-diagnose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just think it's gas. Don't just think you're just having a, a, a just a simple um, bladder infection. It could be something serious. So, so if you're having sex and it's painful, ladies, mm-hmm. please go and check it out because you may, it may just, may not be right. it may not just be right. It may be done flip-flopped and folded in there. Like, just mm-hmm. go check it out. That's so deep right there. That's, yeah. That's on a whole nother level. Well, I'm so glad that you cleared that up. So now we don't have to worry about your vaginas falling out. Please be mindful. <laughs> Go to the doctor. Yes. Oh, my God. I just put an ugly disposition in my brain. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I could. Oh, my God. So moving right along, we're going to talk about some things. Because these young girls that listen, they need to know. Because let me tell you, first I have to tell you a story. You know I always tell you a story every once in a while, right? Tell me a story. I'm up for it. So this is a real true statement. We're not going to mention names or anything, but this is real life. <laughs> there was this young lady, um, one of my brother's ex. You know, my brother, they know. I talk to them about stuff like, look, bro, you got to make sure you go and get tested. And you got to make sure your girl go. Hell, y'all could go together. That's right. Because, I mean, that's how important this stuff is, right? So, you know, my brothers, they real up forthcoming with it. Like, hey, you you, you been to the doctor? <laughs> you you ever um, got checked? You want to go get checked? And the girl was like, well, I mean, I had gonorrhea five times. What? Five. She's the- Wait a minute, y'all. Here's the- y'all ready for the doom, doom, doom? Okay. <laughs> but it's curable. What? Wait a minute, boo. First of all, who's your parents? Uh. <laughs> because what you're not going to do is be walking around here acting like it's okay to have an STD just because it's curable. <laughs> because eventually, <laughs> baby, baby you're going to get something that ain't going to... You ain't going to be able to return down on the sender. Oh. <laughs> you are not returning to the sender. Sure. I'm just trying to tell y'all. I, I just had to say worry. that. Y'all parents better talk to your children. Talk to them, take them to the place to get yeah. tested if need be, because it is not okay, especially young ladies. It's not okay to think that it's okay to have contracted an STD just because there is a cure out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. That's just not okay. Needless to say, I said X, right? She better be a, a darn X, because we ain't got time for that. She scared my whole life. Like, oh, you just, you just out here playing yeah. with people's lives. Like, yeah, it's don't cure. Even. Don't worry, boo. It's curable. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, but well, I already, I already got my shot, took my pill, everything Ooh. all right. What? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not into shaming people. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not into shaming people. Things happen, especially you know, if female gets a STD, she had to get it from somewhere, right? And vice versa. Like, it had to come from somewhere. It just didn't grow in that person's body. So, I'm definitely not into shaming anybody. But my thing is. If you done got an STD one time, that should be even more reason for you to be extra careful in the future. Right. Because they do say once you have contracted one STD, you are more easily susceptible to contracting AIDS and HIV. Real so. So I just had to put that out there. Parents, y'all better be on y'all life because, baby, that little young lady was so serious. Mm. She ain't on no better. No, she didn't. Clearly. Mm. I had to... Bro, you want me to talk to her? Because I don't know if you want me to talk to her. You, you just let her if know. If you was my she sister, I wouldn't have wanted you to talk to my friend. I, I, I like got two that. daughters. Who ain't going to have a whole conversation for the nation? We <laughs> going to sit down. Let's have this conversation. That's all right. Listen. Okay. So, moving right along into our next question here. And that is, can you still contract the STD from sex with the condom or even oral sex? There are some skin to skin. So, gym to, gym, mm-hmm. gym herpes, to war, syphilis, that's, that's life. Herpes. That's a lifetime sentence right mm-hmm. there. I want y'all to know. Can't so, return the sentence. Yeah. Mm-mm. Can't, Can't return, return that one. That. So you want to be careful. You know, you, you definitely want to be careful with that. Um, syphilis, herpes, and HPV. 
um, can be contracted skin to skin. Um, so, but still. So also you ain't too, even had to do nothing. You could have been dry humping for mm-hmm. all of my same sex couples. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell y'all. Y'all better stop playing like y'all don't know. Swapping a fluid. I'm trying to let y'all know. So, yeah. Yeah. That's nasty. So oral, a cure for some is it stuff, oral though. sex? Is it orally kissing and stuff like that too? So if you have you an can outbreak, get herpes from kissing. Yeah. If they got it in, if they have a in their yeah, mouth they that they have don't an even outbreak. look at me if you got a cold sore. I don't like yeah. them things. I'm gonna throw you some blistex with the quickness. <laughs> yeah, if you currently have an outbreak so um, in the mouth, just... yeah, you can you can pass that along. And then in some cases, it all depends. You don't even have to have an outbreak. outbreak you better say that. You don't even know it's there, and you're just passing it along. A couple mm-hmm. months later, you know, some don't feel right, and, and there it is. Another story. There was an actual situation where somebody kissed a baby. Mm. Oh. And the baby broke out from head to toe with the, you know, like, lesions. Oh. And, and the baby ended up contracting herpes. Oh, wow. But with the, you know, it's a baby. So like an, an adult, you can kiss somebody that have a cold sore and you might get just like a cold sore. Mm-hmm. But this baby, literally from head to toe, you can Google it. It's disgusting looking, but they actually contracted it and they have lesions all over their body from somebody just, just kissed them. That's why. Don't kiss my baby. <laughs> I don't not play them games. Do not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's disgusting. Mm. But and that's like lifetime because even if you get because there's two different types of herpes, I think what is it type one and type two or type A and type B, one mm-hmm. one is like the genital warts and the other one is her you know the one with, that produces yeah. the cold sores. Yeah. So HPV because I know that they have a they have a shot that you that yeah. they recommend. They have vaccinations. What do you feel about the vaccination? I can't really speak on that. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you personally later. I want you to tell me how you feel okay. about the vaccination. All right, um, you know how we feel about vaccinations. Jamila. I know how I feel about yeah. the vaccination. I probably feel like here, yeah, Jamila. You, you know about, how we feel tonight. about vaccinations. Jamila. Yeah, they're not good. Okay. They're injecting your body with the disease, Jamila. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You know all right. that. All right. On to the. No, Never. no flu shots. Say, I don't do the flu shots. Never. Don't do the flu they injecting your like, body it with don't make the sense to me. It don't, it don't make sense to me. If so. I'm going to get the flu, I'm going to just get it. You're not going to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. They asked me that because, you know, I just had the baby, right? So when I went to go take Anaya, which is my two-year-old, to the doctor, they're like, hey, do you just want to get her the flu shot just so that the baby doesn't get the flu? Guess what? My baby been healthy as I don't know what. Since she was born, she don't need no flu shot. Oh and we don't need gosh. nobody to get, don't give it to her. Because she must around to get the flu and give it to everybody all. in the house. Yeah. So, no, sir, we don't want that. Mm-hmm. But we highly recommend it because you have a baby. Guess what? My baby is drinking breast milk. She's yep. going to be healthier than you could ever imagine. That's right. We're that's not right. doing these games. That is, that's right. <laughs> no. I don't like vaccines, but that's a whole nother mm-hmm. story. That's a whole yeah. nother a whole, a whole whole show. show. That's a whole nother <laughs> show. show. Like all right. <laughs> How often should women be checked? For STDs, like how often should you go and do a screening? It all depends on your sexual responsibility. Oh, that's good. I love the way you put that. Okay. So if you if you know that every weekend you're with a different partner, you should be getting checked at least once a month, twice that, a month. That's true. You need you to have your doctor on speed dial. <laughs> Okay. But you Not know, you need down. to have or either up your sexual responsibility, love yourself. You don't need that, you know. Think about all this With stuff that you that's just out said here. about the energy. You yeah, don't need energy. that energy. But consciousness, being conscious, when you know better, you do better. Yeah? Most of us out here we're overstimulated because it's everywhere we look. Mhm. But Erica Badu say if it's if it's all in the air, then it's all on your mind. Mm-hmm. I so her. I do too. I she comes in Atlanta in March. Really? When, when March. March, March fifteenth. Her and I. I think you said you was going right. Her and mm-hmm. I. I definitely gotta go. Let's make it a road trip. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So <laughs> be mindful. Get yourself yeah. checked as often as you are irresponsible. <laughs> 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 just for real. Like yeah. you just never know. Yeah. And then you got to keep in mind that there are certain things like herpes mm-hmm. and HIV and. A whole bunch of other ones that go undetected for yeah, a while. they don't show up right away. So if you don't get checked for a year, so to speak, 
and then you get checked, you might not have nothing. And then next year you get checked and you're like, oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's really that real. It, yeah. it could have been there dormant for years. Right. Protect yourself. Period. It's not just about you. It's about it can really too. be dormant for years. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Years. Oh, that's scary. Yes. That is. That's scary. And it, and it, but at the same time, it's very sad. If you think about it, like someone contracts um, H, with not, yeah, HIV or AIDS or something like that, mm-hmm. and they just had it for so many years. Now they've had so many different partners. Yeah, they don't even and know. Who they, they don't even know who gave it to them, let alone who they gave it to. That alone Man. should make you up your sexual responsibility. Listen. Be mindful, man. Be mindful. That's why I just say y'all should go together. That was me and my boyfriend first day. We was in high school. Um, let's go ahead and go to the because my high school they don't do that here. But my high school, we had a nurse's office and a clinic mm-hmm. inside of our high school. And we lived in a really bad community. So to say that we had those resources inside of the school was really good. That's good. Um we had a lot of teen pregnancies too, so maybe that's why they just said we're gonna go ahead and put the clinic <laughs> inside of the school. But I mean, I thought that that was very responsible for them because it's like you got the nurse to take care of things, like when you got a fever, you got to go home early, stuff like that. But if you wanted to get tested and screened and all of that, you can literally go right across to the clinic, and it was free. It was just like going to a, like the public community health center, and you can get tested. And I mean, me and some of my friends, we used to do it frequently, like. Let's go. It was like a thing. Running down the hallway with the papers like, "Uh uh-uh, not here. So, but yes, guys, be mindful, man. Period. That's it. Care care for yourself. Be mindful. That's right. So, do you recommend for women? Of course you do. Let's get right into these Yoni themes. Yoni is the vagina. That's just the word that we're using, you know. Yeah. For the sake of it, sounds pretty. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. no, do you recommend that women do yoni steams? And what are the benefits? Because I'll tell you, my first experience was phenomenal. Yeah. I, I told you I have PCOS. Mm-hmm. Nothing ever stopped the pain. But when I got a yoni steam for the first time, I started to notice the difference. And I was like, oh my God, I have to do that again. Yes. Yes. I love it. Like I mentioned earlier, is it is about um, circulation, increasing the circulation to the womb and, and through the body. When you increase the circulation inside of your body, you move toxins out faster. They don't sit and they don't have time to grow and manifest illnesses and diseases in the body. And so um, yoni steam, and if, if no one has ever, ever heard of yoni steam, so I'm going to break it down. Um, I call it herbal hydrotherapy. So I would take organic herbs, spices, flowers, put it inside of um, a pot with water, and then I would bring that pot to a boil, making a tea. And then um, once that is done, you squat over it, or you put it underneath um, a stool with an opening so that the steam can um, permeate your vagina. So what happens is, with steam, steam, I mean, this, yeah, it opens you up. It opens you up. This is an ancient, this is, our ancestors did this. And I'll tell you uh, uh, an interesting um, way of how they, they, they pick the herbs. Now, think of this, back in indigenous time, how women took care of themselves. Um, they would go into the woods. They were very intuitive of themselves, intuitive of the things that was going on with them and what they needed. They was also intuitive in nature. So they would go into the forest, go into the woods, and by intuition, they would pick these herbs. So that's, that's our intelligent sense that we already have about ourselves. You and have to be t- in tune. No? You have to be in tune. Yeah. And we all have this. We just have to be conscious that we have it. Once we're conscious of it, it activates it. So now you know. Um, once you sit over these herbs, the steam opens up your pores. The blood comes to the area because it's warm. The essence from the herbs attached to the outside area of the vagina and receives it in the inside of the body and through the bloodstream. And that results in a balancing effect. So you have um, your, have you heard, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. 
-hmm. One of them is the nervous system where, oh, it's time to fight. It's time to fight. So you have to put all of the blood goes into your legs and into your arms. And in most cases, we're stressed out. That's, that's the stress. That's the adrenaline. We're stressed out most of the time. We're driving. All the blood is in our legs and in our arms. But very seldom does the blood make it to the center of our body where we rest and digest. Mm. So when we sit on the pot, it gives us a time to rest and digest, bring the blood flow back to the organs where it needs to be in order to flush out toxins, in order to nurture the, the, the organs, in order for our body to heal. See, the body heals itself. You just need to give it what it needs in order to do its job. And so by having this moment to just sit down, and, and usually I have ladies um, sit on the steam pot for about 30 minutes, and 30 minutes is pretty much all you need, or you can just sit there all day, especially if you do it at home. It, it all depends on you, because it's a place of solace. It's a, pa a place yes. of peace. It's a place of silence. It's a place, um, place where you are becoming aligned and in tune with who you are as a woman. Um bringing your awareness and your attention to your vagina and self-care and loving her, treating her. Now, on an energetic level, it helps to clear the womb of stagnant energy, old partners, um, things of that nature, you know, um, stillbirths, um, abortions, all that energy that's trapped inside of the womb. Or we can go on with this. But it is please because they don't understand about that this, stuff. This is it's sitting down it in there. But it has to be cleansed out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. it has to be cleansed out. And afterwards, sometimes you'll notice, like as days go by, your body will literally start to release. Your body things. will release things. Yeah, your body will release things physically, mm -hmm. and also your body will release things um, energetically, spiritually, things around you. We call them synchronicities. Um, like things will start to happen, people around you, because you think about it, not a lot. You think about your life, you think, okay, everything is happening to me, but it's happening on the outside of me. No, you are a part of it. And um, energy flows in and energy flows out and it affects your life around you. So if you're walking around with stagnant energy, you're producing something around you. You're producing your world around you. Gonna be your world is going to be stagnant. Your world won't be free flowing. But as soon as you become conscious of this fact about yourself and start to clear the energies of your body, start to um, show self-love, eat the things that you need to eat in order to nurture your body and bring your the acid levels, alkalinity, pH to more of a normal balance, you'll notice that your body becomes more balanced. Um, it triggers the, if you know about the energy centers of your body, that's the second chakra, the second energy center is the sex chakra. And it um, governs how you relate to life and relationship and finances and, and everything. So the womb is connected to your life, your finances, your relationships, how you deal with work, how you deal with your money. You know, all of that is it. So, you know, research. You don't have to take my word for it, but research sex chakra governing system. Write it down, y'all. We have pens and pencils out. Oh, yeah. Sex <laughs> chakra. Governing. What does the sex chakra govern in my life? And get balanced with it. Get balanced with it. When I have ladies come in for Yoni Steam, I talk to them about this. We sit on the pot and we also set intentions because this is the area of creativity as well. Sexual energy is creative energy. It's not just sexual energy to just go out and, you know, you know, have sex, but this is the energy of creation. So we have two points where we have sexual energy flowing and that's the upper as aspects of our, um, our vision. We see the things that we want, but then we have to put it to action. So that's where that sexual, sexual energy comes from in order to manifest it. So if you're off balanced in that lower region in your second chakra, your second um, around in your womb, then you won't be able to connect the dots on how to manifest your dream. 
You can want it all in your mind. You can see it, you can see it, but you're stuck and you can't put point A to point B. Get right within your womb. Clear the stagnation. Increase circulation, increase the energy, and you'll be able to see the things around you begin to shift. Become conscious of it. Y'all better get this, Yoni. I'm about to. I'm about to host a party. We about to do <laughs> the party. Oh, I have never done one. Never we we gotta you never do it, Yoni. Oh man, it's yeah. awesome. It yeah. was the first, my first experience. Was, I it went was to juvenile really, wellness. Remember we had um. I went to. We had uh, Jasmine and Perry. Oh, and yeah. I went there too. That's what, that was my first experience. And it was too. so awesome. They take you back in the room. You put on a little thing, mm-hmm. and you just. And then they have the music playing, like you know the the breeze from nature. Mm-hmm. Or you can put your own music on. But it was phenomenal, man. But I went with uh, Vanessa Harris, and it was so funny because we was in, me and Hope was in there just having a real good conversation. We was talking, giggling, and laughing. They came in and checked on us. Yeah, oh, good. And then um, get intense towards the end. Oh, so <laughs> I'm sitting there and it got like, I was like, whoa, I think this thing is heating up. <laughs> and it got like really, 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 really warm. And Vanessa laughed at me because I stood up off of the pot. I did too. And I was like this and I was flashing. <laughs> I was trying to like cool it like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> And Vanessa was you. laughing at me, and I was like, "Wait a minute, yours ain't get hot like mine. She just got hot." And she was like, "Yeah, but she didn't move." I was oh, like, no. "Whoa!" And then when I sat back down, I was like, mm-hmm. "Oh, it came back down. Oh, I can, t- I can do, I can do this." But it got, yeah. it but got so intense for you. at one it point. Is. And I love when you like when you go there. They have like the wall of all of the different herbs, the herbs. right? Mm-hmm. And before you even get it, they they you do a questionnaire, so they yeah. ask specifically like. You know, have you had PCOS, fibroids, you know, heavy menstruation, all of this stuff, women, that, you know, that we experience. And based off of your answers, that's why I always, like, I, I went first by myself, and then I took one of my friends, and I told her, because she suffers with really bad fibroids, I said, please, when you answer that questionnaire, be truthful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is your moment to be vulnerable, be truthful, be open, right, because right. this could really, you know, be the difference in you suffering with fibroids for, for the rest yeah. of forever, or you actually finding something that can naturally cure the fibroids. Right. So... They did, I think they even asked you about if you have, like, a dry mucus plug, things of that nature. And that's how they know what herbs to put in there. Like, marshmallow root is mm-hmm. one of them. Dandelion. It's so many different things that they put, like you said, when they're creating that right. mixture. Mm-hmm. But it's, inten- it's it's intentional. Like, what yeah. they're putting in there is intentional, intentional based off of what you tell them. They know what herbs to put in according to what you tell them. And right. man, listen... When I tell you that I have suffered with PCOS for so long, when I got my first Yoni steam, and I was like, let me just see. Because I did my research before going. I was Ooh. like looking it up and what it does and everything. And I was like, man, I wonder if this will help out with this PCOS. And when I tell you that, I even to this day, ever since I did my first Yoni steam, and i only done it twice, but I never have had as much pain yeah. that I previously used to have mm-hmm. and I don't look I don't know what they did but I'm yeah. I, 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 I love it I love it for you I'm it can, it can really I have to frame. go back because I just had a baby so I need to get another one mm-hmm. well we yes. got we got maybe God let's is, go let's go God is God, so can host one and, and one thing this. I want to tell you guys yeah. at Gemini Wellness I know for a fact that they accept flexible spending Flexible spending, guys. So your benefits that you get from corporate America can come in handy outside of getting your glasses and paying your co-pays. Oh, you really? can go to Gemini Wellness. You can get a freaking um, facial. You can get Yoni Steam. You can have a whole pampering day on flexible spending at hey, Gemini guys, Wellness. That's what's but up. She, um, you, I'll, I'll, I'll find out because you're mm-hmm. you're licensed and everything, mm-hmm. so you can I can tell, find yeah. out how you can get set up so you can accept yeah, it as well. Exactly. Because baby, we it's I mean if you think about it, it is something that is needed. It's a it it's is. not a medicine, but you know it's something to help out your health. It does. So yeah. I'm gonna tell you how you yeah, can get hooked up know. with flex spinning because mm-hmm. baby. And you're yeah. in balanced body, right? Balanced body. I went there to do my first Reiki treatment. I think I did it with Michelle. Michelle. Mm-hmm. I did. She was awesome. She Where's was the, balanced body? Um, right off of yeah, exactly. Pleasant Home Road. Yeah. Pleasant Home and um, Walton Wake Stations. It's actually right down the way. So y'all right up the street. Mm-hmm. You Are you? Wait. Oh, okay, you say Pleasant Home. Okay. Because I'm thinking that's Skin and Mill Road. So that's it's like name. behind, what is that? Sam's Club, down a little bit mm-hmm. that way. I know what you're talking Coming about. straight down Walton Way. Mm-hmm. It's right there. Okay. But yes, y'all listen. 
If you suffer women with any type of issues, you have to have a yoni steam. And I think we should do a party. Would you do a party? Like, what are we going to do the party at? Let's do it next well, month at Balance Party. Yeah, we can do it How many five. pots do you have, though? I have five right five. now. Five. Mm -hmm. So we can have up to three more people outside of us. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's I want to do it. it. I definitely okay. want to do it. Oh, Blue right. says she covered. Look, Blue says she mm -hmm. want to try. So okay, well, there We already it is. got three spots. Perfect. Two people. I can feel we, we ain't going to share with a whole bunch of people. Right. We ain't going to share with a whole bunch of people. Oh, we're going to have to do everything. different sessions and we not do it and just host it and have right. different people come to do the experience. Right. Because it's amazing, y'all. I'm just telling yeah, you right now. If you're a woman, if you've never had a Yoni Steam, I suggest you have it. Now, what would you suggest age wise? Like I would say, as soon as you begin to your menses, right? Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. Because it is oh, a cleaning. They have some people. Yes, they have yeah. some people that I know yeah. at um at Gemini they used to say that you can come before, right before your menses, mm -hmm. and what it'll do is it'll help ease those pains yes. that normally come, mm -hmm. and then you go right after the menses so that it can clean, clean you out. out. That's right. That's why I just had a baby. I need to go get the clean out. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. 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 And so yes. that that premenstrual um, bloating mm -hmm. that we take, it'll take it all it will away. Help, yes, it will help indeed. with that, and it'll help long term. Like mm -hmm. it, it, moving forward, you'll start to see that your bloating is less than it That's used exactly. to be. I'm telling you, yeah, it'll sneak up on you too. Like a lot of the symptoms that we usually have. Yes, so your period will just it, come it'll one just day. Come you come like, and be like, oh, whoa, wait whoa! A I didn't even know that you was on your way. <laughs> yeah, you're not lying about that, come. girl. Yeah, mine you know. just always sneak up on me, and she. It comes since I changed my diet. Mm -hmm. It come and it goes. Mm -hmm. Three days, she in, she out. she out. That's good. That and, means that you're healthy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, and the other, it's so now at my job. I work at Gerald Jones, and we only have one female restroom, one. And they hired more women, so <laughs> we talking the other day like we need another bathroom. Because there's just too many of us in this one bathroom. Like, <laughs> what's going on? And, like, I noticed that, like, a few of us was on our cycles at one time. I'm like, hold up, wait. We just got to get better. So, me and one of the other ladies is talking, and she's like, that she's seven days. And she got... No, that means that she's not doing something right. No, it's she said that days. she had something. She had, she had some kind... I can't remember what it is that she had. But she said that she had something to where she had really he heavy menstruals. And she did a procedure that was supposed to help eliminate fibroids, probably. It wasn't fibroids. I I have to get what it was. Um, and whatever the procedure she did, it made it, it worse. It made it worse. So now her cycle I would not is live heavier. With five, seven days. I'm sorry. It's heavier and more intense. I'm tripping if it's four day. <laughs> and she, I was like, wow. And I'm we going to the bathroom. She got tampons and pads on her hand. I'm like, yeah. Damn, you need both of them. And she, she was like, if I don't have both, it could, it's, it's just a bad right, situation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wow, she yeah. definitely needs Yoda's to come. Yoda's can actually help to um, balance Shorten. her out. She definitely needs. I'm going to yeah. talk to her tomorrow yeah, about okay. it and recommend her to come see you because she definitely needs to do it. And she's like, she's at the point to where she somehow have to leave work because it's that intense. That was that was good, y'all. I had to put y'all on to that though, and this is literally personal experience. Like, women is definitely beneficial for real, for real. It's that that you and it's just it's awesome because, like you said, it's like it's just such solstice and peaceful, mm -hmm. and it's a I, different experience. After I finished when I did mine, I felt like I had um smoked the L. Like <laughs> I was just so like calm and peaceful and chill. I was like. Oh, that was just real nice. I just chilled out the whole rest of the day. It was just real cool. It yeah, was real good. Yeah, it takes you there to that peaceful place. It does take you mm -hmm. to a very peaceful place. Okay, so moving right on right along. Right on along. Right on along. How important is personal grooming down there? What is safe and what is not? Like, et cetera, shaving, waxing, sugaring, tattooing, piercing, et cetera. Because people Yeah, do, I need to know about yeah. this whole piercing because, listen, I ain't even doing with it. I thought about it. I, my my significant other think is so cool, but I'm not doing it. I had my I, nose pierced twice, and now I wanted to punch somebody in the throat. I've, I've had my tongue pierced and my eyebrow pierced, and I highly considered it. Like I own. I mean, I went to New York. Too, I went I just, to New York. I, I just I went to New York. Went to the tattoo parlor, and I was like, yeah, no, but now I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Got chicken out. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. 
Yeah. I actually did it for my, my 30th birthday. Got a vertical hood piercing. So you do got it? I don't now. Oh, but, you, but you did, <laughs> but have, I did it. have it. How yeah. did it feel? I God, passed out America. and I came to. That's uh, all I remember. I was like, oh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it but was. But afterwards, the, was it like You know, I process? didn't have a, the healing process was long. I didn't necessarily have a good experience because I later found out that um, they didn't the jewelry, right. they did it right, but the jewelry was too big. Oh. The ball was too big. So I, it was painful for me. It was eerie. Yeah. It was, yeah. See, that's my only thing. Like, I don't, first, the initial pain, you know, most times it's just like, okay, boom, and then you drop that one tear. <laughs> Normally when you get a piercing or a tattoo, something like that. But it's that healing process. And like you said, I don't want nobody to make no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Don't make no mistakes. Because we got, what, 8,000 8, nerves down there. And don't we ain't got time. Don't, I don't, don't. want to have nerve damage <laughs> where I'm supposed to be happy as that. Okay? Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. Right. Mm -mm. So, what, what, what you think? Yeah, Shaving, so what's your... waxing, sugaring? What, what's safe? What's not safe? How do you groom it? Or down? is all of I them mean, safe just in how you do it? It's just in how you do it. You know, personally, I don't like... Um, I never had really good experience with shaving. Me either. They, with I, razor. They, they could kick I, the I just, shaving could kick the bucket. Um, I've had experience with waxing and sugaring. Sugaring is phenomenal. Yeah. Sugaring, and I've noticed this, sugaring is a little less painful. It is. Than the waxing. I it's haven't sugared yet. Well, I, I can't wait to get you hooked up with my girl because, baby, <laughs> Leslie is the bomb. And she took, I swear, my pain tolerance is not really good. What's that? Sugar, sugar is, is like It's waxing. like when you get a Brazilian wax from but Buddha to the Tudor. Uh huh. But, but that's sugar. Use a different, yeah, but the, instead of using wax, they use sugar. Like, I know my girl, she's strictly organic. She used lemon juice, water, and sugar. Yeah. And, and it put, lightens you too. And honey. So, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice, honey, sugar, water. And it what it does is it, first of all, wax goes on your skin hot. Just imagine mm -hmm. when you get your eyebrows done, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm also with waxing, that. with waxing, they also take off all of the layers mm -hmm. of your skin, including the stuff that's healthy, etc. Yeah. With sugaring, it doesn't do that. And with sugaring, it makes it so that your hairs grow back in the right direction. Waxing doesn't necessarily do that mm -hmm. because sugaring goes with the growth of your hair. Waxing goes against it. Just think, like when you get your eyebrows done, they always, they always rip it off it the opposite, opposite way. way. They right? do. Sugaring doesn't do that. Sugaring, they pull it off and the same direction yeah, of your way. Right. And it's literally like a glob. You know how they make the um, slime? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sugaring is like that, but it's more solid. And they just use that. And I'm telling you, Leslie is the bomb. Shout out to Leslie. Man. Me and my young She's so to go good to go. with it. And I thought that I was going right. to be so. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, I thought it was going to hurt me so bad. Like, I was, like, so scared. She gave me a little, you know, a little stress ball. Because I was, like, about to have a panic attack. I thought it was going to be the worst experience. She talked to me through the whole thing to the point where I'm like, this is it? And I'm talking about front to back, y'all. Like, straight up, goodbye. Everything. Go. <laughs> gone. <laughs> goodbye. So, yeah, this, and, and the thing about it is, it was, yeah. the back was way quicker and way less painful than I thought that it would be. And it's less painful than the front. Hmm. And it was just so phenomenal. And she just talks to you through it. And, like, you don't even feel like you're being violated that somebody, like, <laughs> somebody else is there that you don't know type thing. Because, I mean, it was my first time meeting her. It's not like I knew her or nothing. And she just did such a phenomenal job. Now, here's the thing. You were talking about being in sync with your body and mm -hmm. then, be, you know, knowing your energy and everything, right? So how about when she got to the left side, I started to jump a little bit like, oh, that, oh, oh, you know, jumping a little. And she's like, you're in tune with yourself. That's how she talks. She's like, you're in tune with yourself. And I was like, what you mean? <laughs> she was like, because. She said, I'm going to tell you something. You got, like, she told me this afterwards. She was like, you got tense whenever I got to the left side. And she said, that means that you're in tune with yourself because if you think about it, the um, artery that goes to your heart oh. is on your left-hand side, that major artery. She said, so the left-hand side is always going to be more sensitive mm -hmm. than the right-hand side. And I was like, okay, girl. Shout out to me being in tune with me. <laughs> but not only that, it lasts. Let me tell y'all, it lasts. Sugar and lasts way longer. I, I've never did wax, so I can't tell you how wax lasts. But I know I, I'm like my hair is really thick and coarse. First of all, it takes that away. 
So when it does decide to grow back, it does not grow back it's nearly fine. as coarse. Mm -hmm. And it takes a long time. Like when Leslie does my sugaring, I went to her in September. And I had my baby in November. It's January. Like it literally just started like getting back to where, okay, I gotta schedule my next appointment. For real? I kid you not. I need to go. I'm sugar. not even and, and the more that you go, the more that you go the the more that you go, the the less and you know, the more you know, the less it'll grow back as fast. Because what happens is with waxing, it'll grow back all at the same time and you know you get that itch. Mm -hmm. Like let's just be real, you know, anytime you shave or something like that, start itching. Mm -hmm. Not then with wax um, not with sugaring. With sugar and it goes back patchy, goes back in patches. So it's way less thick as it used to be because it's growing back in patches. So you look like you got like bald spots. Oh. It's growing back in patches. So you know, hey, let me get Leslie on the line, Yo, baby. Looking like I got alopecia. Give me, give me, give me, give me alopecia. Let me get my appointment going on. Get on my I'm telling you, it is amazing. So if you've never did sugar, and I like I said, I can't speak for waxing, and I hate shaving. I'm straight up hate it. You don't get no type of bumps or nothing like that. It's just phenomenal. And it's all natural. At least with my person, I can say that. It's all natural. And it is very... It's not long. Like you said, the Yoni steam takes about 30 minutes. So it takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And I have my next appointment on Valentine's Day in the morning. Okay. Because you know that night I have to do my ass. <laughs> so Valentine's Day is my next appointment with, with Leslie. But I make sure that I get y'all in contact with me. She's yeah. phenomenal. She be booked out. though. Like You got to hit Leslie up because she be she's so dope. She be booked out. Like, I had to get Valentine's Day. And I hit her up last week. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is she? No, she's not. Uh -huh. She's not. But she's so phenomenal, y'all. Okay. Like, uh -huh. she's amazing. Okay, that's Tell that's fun. I, I, I'm just and her, her little room is so dope. You sit up on the table. Like, you know how you get a massage on those type of tables? That's the type of table that she has you to um, lay on. And it's so amazing. She talks to you through the whole thing. So And you know how we, we talk. We could talk. She would talk to you through the whole thing. You'd be like, you done? Oh, shoot, girl. That was fast. <laughs> mm. I suggest that y'all, if you never got sugar in, get it done. I'm going to try sugar in. Get, get it done. Sugar. I'm going to get my sugar I'm some the sugar. The odds are still out on that piercing, y'all, because yeah. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Now, tattooing. I did one time consider it, especially since I got this whole sugar in thing on, because it's like, it ain't dead. It takes a long time to come back. So, but I'm still, I'm scared. I don't know. I think that'll that hurt. I'm, I'm telling you. Vagina? I'm Man, I've seen nah. some beautiful, see, I'll be looking on Instagram, like, you know, in the stories and stuff, like the discovery, and I have seen some beautiful pieces done, like, on women's vagina. Yeah. Looks beautiful. But for me personally, I just... I'm scared. I'm, I'm not with Stuff it. Stuff like no. I, I could take it. certain amount of pain uh, over that. Oh. Yeah. And like natural. I said, with the piercing, I'm just scared that something's gonna go wrong. And them eight thousand nerves, I need to feel all of them. I don't want to have any type of. <laughs> I don't want to feel the no Right. I don't want to feel the shot down. Yeah. Right. Like, right. I don't, right. Mm -mm. A knife down there. Ooh. We. Nah. I'm out. All right. Well, so we this is a yeah. good one. Yeah, this, we, is a good yeah, this is a good one because when you was well, coming up, they told you you had to do this. All right, I'm so telling you. Are you supposed my to had the dush red bag. your vagina? Why or why not? That red bag back in the day. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. That's disgusting. But. And I would say no. The the vagina is a self. It cleans cleaning. itself. She is. And you think about it. When you're douching, you are removing good bacteria and Damn, bad bacteria. Thank you. So you are leaving her susceptible to infection. Although you want to be fresh right then and then, you know, they you want leave her wide open. They want to put roses and everything up there. Yeah. You know, they use summer seeds that got all of the New scents. New fresh tropical scent. Like, bro, it's not supposed to smell like <laughs> no. <tropical>. Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, they got toilet paper that smell like lavender. Yeah. Lavender toilet paper. Lavender toilet paper. It's ridiculous. And I'm like, who used one day I sent my daughter in the store to buy tissue and she get back in the car and I'm like, What's that smell, Yanni? <laughs> and she like, I don't know. And she's like, I said, Yanni, what is that smell? I don't know. I'm like, let me see that tissue. I look, I said, You gotta be kidding me. They got scented toilet paper? The car and it's loud. Oh. Like it's not like a mild smell. It's loud to it. If you put it in your bathroom, you probably wouldn't need an air freshener because the tissue smell 
that loud. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you want to wipe yourself with that? Yeah, exactly. Y'all throwing y'all pH all types of Oh, yeah. All types of And deuce can, can, can throw your pH off. It, it really can. It can throw it off. So you get BV because you do. You want mm-hmm. to, if you do a sub, you best well have BV. Yeah. Bacteria vaginosis yeah. for y'all that don't know. Yeah. Allow <laughs> your you natural you cycle that. to clean itself. Allow, you know. Do that yeah, one. No gushing, ladies. Don't don't gush. Mm-hmm. It's not necessary. It's, it's yeah, not. it's not. You might be doing more harm than right. you think. Especially if you're up on your nutrition. You're eating the things you're supposed to eat. Good things in, good things out. The vagina will show. I'm a, this year, I'm going to balance my, my life through my vagina. There it is, honey. That's how we gonna do it. Balance so your life through the vagina. I'm going to manifest vagina everything. Why are we about to do a whole bunch of stuff? <laughs> manifest everything through the vagina. All right, so... um. Now this, I think this was my question because I have to know. Since we talk, we gonna talk about a lot when it comes to this pH because they don't understand how important. First, um, before we even ask that one, what is the proper pH? You have um, you look at a pH scale about three point eight to about four point five. If you begin, and they have strips out there where you can ketone um, strips. Yeah, you can test your your pH. So you want to stay in the range about three point eight, about four point five. When you start, so that's just vaginal, vaginal. pH. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not your body. Be, your I'm just being clear. So pick people. Is it that's vaginal, vaginal, pH. vaginal pH? Okay. So if you really truly think about it, um, the vagina itself is an acidic environment. Mm-hmm. Um, so you want to keep that acidity um, balanced, you know. So if you start, your your mucus will be a telltale sign if your pH is off. So do a mucus test. Wash your hands, and you can pinch um, some mucus out of your vagina and look at it. And you can tell if your mucus is cloudy. You can tell if it's clear. If it's stringy, you can also tell what, you know, where you are within your cycle through doing um, a mucus test. Yeah, because after that, that, that can let you know if you're ovulating or something yes, like that. Yes, So if your mucus looks like okra, you could be ovulating. And if it also has um, um, essence, the smell, it'll have a, 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 like, that smell to attract the men, you know, in a sense. It, you're ready. It's ovulation time, you know. It's time to implant some seeds. So, <laughs> so if you t- if you're doing the mucus test, yes. If it's thick, if it's what does that thick. what does that mean? If it's stringy, what does that mean? Yeah. So if, if it's, it's clear, thick, what does that so mean? So one thing about it is it it all depends. You know where you are in your cycle and your pH. Okay. Because your pH can be good, and you can be in your cycle about to have your have your period, and your p your um, mucus can be thick. You okay. Know? So, um, but if your pH, like if you're about to have a yeast infection, that will be able to tell that that milky, cloudy thickness. You'll be able to tell what a yeast infection is looking like. And it like also depends on what's on. going on with you too, because if you're pregnant, it mm-hmm. could be different. Yes. So I've never been pregnant, so you have to yeah. keep on that one. No, I'm just saying. Like I know that if, when you are pregnant, because I used to be tell when I was a first time mom. I'm tell y'all, call my doctor for everything. Um, excuse me, because I need to know what is this discharge. They're like, ma'am, it's not a discharge. That's normal. You're pregnant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, I yeah. just had to have it. She said, have the doctor on speed dial, baby. Listen, what is this? They're like, no, ma'am, you're pregnant. So when you're pregnant, sometimes you will have that thicker mucus mm-hmm. just because your vagina is preparing for something to come through it. Right. Just my little two cents and what I know yeah. about, you know, the yeah. vagina. Right. <laughs> I would say, you know, observe yourself from from the beginning of your cycle to the end of your cycle. Um, Pay attention. That's just, this is the awareness aspect. Create a relationship with your vagina. See, you know, how, how the mucus is from this part of the cycle from the beginning to the middle to the end. See where your normal baseline is. So when something does throw you off, you can catch it. Be aware of your normal baseline. That's key. Know your body. Know your body. Period. Yes. Get in touch with her. And it's mm-hmm. okay to touch her. It is. Touch her. Get talk a mirror to her. Too. Yeah, look at her. Make look sure she's her. straight. She mm-hmm. good. You know what I'm saying? Have conversations with her. Because sometimes you got to talk to her. Because she be telling you stuff and you be like, that's not what we're going to do today. 
I, that's, <laughs> no, ma'am. Yep. I said, no, ma'am. I said that that's not what we're going to do today. Mm-hmm. So talk to her. Nurture her. Love on her. Because she will get you. Sometimes she'd be telling you stuff and you'd be like. That's right. The wisdom of the womb, baby. You better pay attention. Pay attention the to her. The wisdom of the womb. Listen She'll talk to, to you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she'd be acting up, though, and be like, listen, I, <laughs> not today. <laughs> I am not listening to you today. You trying to get us in trouble. You trying to get us in trouble, girl. Hush your mouth. Be quiet. <laughs> okay, so um, next question: How big is a woman's vagina normally when not stimulated? And is it true it expands when it is aroused? It does expand. Mm-hmm. It does expand. It engorges. It. it fills with blood. Okay. Same when you're on the pot as well. When you're steaming, mm-hmm. you will engorge because you have increased blood flow. So, yeah. So, okay. I want... It's not a question, but I have a question. <laughs> um, so, for the ladies, when it comes to sex and you want to say, okay, size matters, he got to have a large penis, X, Y, Z, yada, 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 yada. So... Does that really matter? Because I believe what I read is like your your uterus is just like three to five inches mm-hmm. long on the inside. So they be trying to be like, oh, so, I was in the stomach. And I was in, like, <laughs> so. You're lying, bro. No matter how big it was, you're lying. Right, but, okay, so if it's Pretty enlarging itself. Yeah, and it actually, it, the, it, it, it gets, stretches. It stretches? Yeah. Okay, so like a rubber band. So if a guy has a larger penis, he is actually stretching you out on the inside because it's not normally that big. I guess that's my question. Well, because it's like you've seen them; they come out here and they the penis is ten inches long, twelve inches long. I'm sorry. I'm she saying like if, 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 if it's penis talking, if it's three to five, but we talk about vagina. She wanted to get that penis <laughs> talking. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, I'm asking you a like, question. You have a talk with you, huh? <laughs> I told you I'll be talking to her. Listen, so I'm like, if it's three to my thought process when I read this was if it's three to five inches, right? And you have, and women want to have sex with men that have large penises. What are you really doing to yourself down there? Mm. You know, everything shifts. Everything moves. You know, the connective tissue will accommodate. It all depends. If he's abnormally big, you know I mean, that's up to you. You have to observe that yourself. No, I'm, I'm, you have no. to, you know. Hold on, what you thought cases, she was about to do with that? Nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> Mm-mm. 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 But this in most cases, canceled. she will accommodate her partner. <laughs> okay. I, I, and so this is also, no real talk. I'm glad that you mentioned that. Okay, so let's take away from the penis talk, right? Let's talk about... I just had the Aggies. That See, question. I have had the pleasure and not so much of a pleasure because it's painful mm-hmm. healing process. But I've had C-sections. And I would never imagine pushing out a baby. Because, you know, so I think the universe heard my thoughts when I was a kid. My whole life, I was so scared of childbirth. Like, I thought that it was going to be the worst. Like, I couldn't imagine a whole baby coming out of there. And guess what? I had classical C-section, so now I always have to have a C-section. I'll never get to experience that. It's all good. I'm fine with it. But for the women that have had vaginal births, you know, people be thinking, oh, it's going to be stretched out and this, that, and third. That's not true, right? It'll always Because it always go back. comes right back. Yeah, it's a it'll muscle. Come right back. It'll right. come right back. That's right. So you're all right, girls. You're all right. And as long as you're um, doing your your kegels, exercise. Don't have that prelapse. Or and, and, and you know, <laughs> it's a, and a lot of people may not know how to exercise those muscles. Simple as this: if you go to the restroom, um, start your kids. steam, start your stream, and then stop it, and then start again. It works really well if you're hydrated. You know, so it may be a little painful if you're using the restroom and you're not as hydrated. The urine seems to be a little bit more acidic coming out and you may feel discomfort when stopping the stream. But you want to make sure um, you can practice it that way. And if you also experiment with um, um, yoni eggs, that's another way to stretch. They have some quartz ones I want to buy. They're so beautiful. Yeah. But I'm scared. I'm so scared to do that. And right. I'll be well, thinking that's going to get stuck. It's not going to get stuck. I'm telling you. So you can just go in there and get it. What if it goes like too far? It, or it go where? I don't just know. go up in there and get it. 
I'm not, I might have to put my whole hand. That's too the much. Set, oh no. my gosh, no. But you know what? She'll, she'll so release what you do? It. Do it have like a string on it that you can pull you it can, out? Yes, you can do a string or you cannot drill to undrill. So, like with me, I've always had the undrill ones. One thing about it, you put it in a certain way, you can keep it in. She'll, I mean, and she know when it's time to release her. It, it's almost like. <laughs> Once you get to know your vagina, mm -hmm. and once you get to um, become I acquainted, to get to know my vagina. yeah, you get acquainted. <laughs> I'm gonna spend with the rest the of the year getting to know mine. Get to know it's fascinating, <laughs> just like getting to know your natural hair. You know, mm -hmm. it's fascinating. It, it had it, there's characteristics, and it makes up a whole person. You work in harmony with one another, but you put in an egg, and she'll choose the egg will actually choose you. So if you can have a, several different eggs in front of you. Um, several different ones. You can have amethyst. You can have quartz. You can have rose quartz. You can have, you know, all these different ones. But like, how do I know which one works best for me? Right. How do you know? What's right. The happen? So one thing Look. about it is it all, depends, <laughs> it all depends on where you are on a um, an energetic level. Okay. Everything is vibration and energy. Let's just put it like that. It doesn't matter if you believe in it or not. Everything has a vibrational frequency. So the eggs also has a vibrational frequency, and whichever egg you harmonize with is the one that chooses you. You think you chose it, but that's the one you're attracted to. You grab that. That's the one that's going to help you heal. That's how I pick my stones. They call me. They call you. And when you have that, that stone in your field, you vibrate at that level. And the things inside of your body that is um, below that level, it will become healed. And so everything is resonance. It, it resonates with it. Where do you get the egg from? Um, well... You can look online. I also have um, several eggs myself that I sell, and I go through a whole setup. So I have you sit down in front of me. I lay out all the eggs, and I have a way um, of going through the choosing um, process. I'm going to have to come and get an egg. I'm just nervous. <laughs> okay, I feel so like I need a one-on-one -on -one session. This, yeah. I don't want to order it offline. I need right, a one-on-one -on -one right. session. One-on-one -on -one session <laughs> is good, especially if you have several ones to choose from um, to start you off with your first one. Yeah, because, because they come in different sizes. They do come in different sizes. Now, is, is there a reason why they come in different sizes? Yes, it all depends on the strength of your walls. Okay. <laughs> All right then. So, what does that mean? Like you, you So the larger is, ones, you want to start off with it. The smaller ones, that means you're strong. You can hold it. If you can hold that small egg up in there without it coming out, you're nice and toned. All right now. All righty now. All right, All right. Blue. 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 So, so I got another question. Devil. So when it comes. <laughs> Right. When it comes to, to, to having the stones there, when we said that's your creative space. So can you, would you say, have, can you have sex with the oh, stones? Yes. So yes. have sex with Time the stone out. in and manifest things? Yeah. So yeah. you can have that's, sex with the stone in. The man is going to feel it, though. You right? know, yeah, he may. He gon' he may he he may be in there like I don't know what this is, but it feels good. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you can put you can manifest and set intentions into it. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely encode um, your precious stone. And if and it really works if <laughs> yeah, you and your partner is side. on the same page of manifestation. That's what sex is all about. They don't even know. They yeah, don't even know about magic, sex baby. magic. We're going to... Look at up. Sex oh, magic. Man. <laughs> so, yes. That was... Yes. Oh, man. So, wait a minute. Yeah. Because I, I did. When I was looking at the rose quartz, when the mind told you I was looking at the rose quartz one, they have like one that's like this big, then it's like this that, big, yeah. and I, a big, big I was one. just thinking that they was like big. Like you were supposed to get it like the size of an egg. So, right. mm -hmm. not necessarily. If you if your muscle is tighter, yeah. you can hold a smaller egg. Yeah, and they also have sets. You can buy it in a set, the large, medium, small. So, what do you do? That's, a, that's what I was going to ask. Because that's how I've seen it, and that's how it was being sold. Right. So, why do I have all three if I need like a medium? Inside, I'm like, what happens? Does it get like do well you get as you become toned more and more toned? You can switch your eggs and you can also work your muscles. So, if you get drilled, you can put um, drilled egg, yeah, girl. When you said drill, drill. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you get drilled eggs, Yo. you can <laughs> put a cotton string in it and actually use it as a weight. So, you can oh. use um, you can exercise with it. So you will sit in a comfortable squatting position, or you can stand and have your egg inserted, and you can pull it out and um, 
the wool contract your muscles yeah. yeah pull it out and then you can bring it back in pull it out bring it back in and that really helps tone the um your vaginal oh walk. man y'all valentine's day is gonna be lit, lit. Listen, yeah. gotta, gotta, <laughs> man. i'm trying to tell y'all yeah, oh yeah, goodness! Yeah. Okay, that there's is... some ladies even um, putting weights at on the other end of their um, their. No, I'm not sure if no way to, stones to, to lift the muscles. Yeah, no way to work the, to muscles. work the muscles. They're actually putting weights. No way! Don't Jamel. try it. Unless you talking about like the fish weights, like when they go fishing and they have the little weight things that hold down. Yeah, the, what you know, a weight the type of weight. I'm not doing yeah, it. Weight type of weight. Fine. Yeah, not doing they it. They trying to see how it. strong the muscles. Mm-hmm. Is. They're trying to get snatched. Uh, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! So that was yeah. good. Like a lot. Of, I, listen, you taught me some stuff about mm-hmm. this. She said if you get drilled under what? Wait Which a minute. Yeah, for the egg, the egg, the you egg. Have guys. You have drilled. a smooth egg, um, and you know you put it in large part first. The the egg you have the larger portion. You put that in first. Um, so if it's drilled, the smaller portion of the egg will be where the, the hole is. Right. So that's where the string would go. Yeah. But you're saying you don't even, you don't want that. You want the one that don't have no drills and you're going to pull it I in. I have both. I have both actually. When I first started off, it was uh, undrilled and I just, you know, put it in there. And also too, if you have your egg and you're going to the restroom, um, you want to make sure you're conscious of it. Because you'll feel it moving down. You don't want it to come out during the bowel movement. So you got to stop that muscle. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Pull it up. Or either catch it because she's coming out if you're having a bowel movement in some cases. Mm. All right, y'all. Y'all heard it here first. Mm-hmm. Only, Only on Goddess Gossip. Only on Goddess Gossip. The Yoni One on one. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, please tell the people. All of the women listening, how to properly care for their yoni from wiping to washing. I did right or wrong ways. I know we talked about washing. Yeah. Use your hand and some warm water, whatever the case may be. What about wiping? Like, right. what is the ways to care? Because some women don't know. They be. I'm not gonna say it. Now, I've been. I was taught like two different ways, and I was taught with the water. And to pat dry. If you just using, if you just, you just had, you just went to the restroom. You are washing with water, and then you pat dry with the tissue. Don't swipe pat. If you do it from the front, because some people still wipe from the front. Don't go all the way up under. Swipe across your behind, and then come up your vagina. Yeah, don't do that. You're don't gonna do have that. BV. Don't and do that. Else. But um, you know, we actually had a discussion, and then it, you know. A lot of ladies have some very interesting points. They're like, all right, how can I wipe from front to back when everything folds? How can I get within the folds? Like, well, if you go from front, you can actually be very detailed. Yeah, yeah, because you want to... <laughs> so you wipe... the tail. yeah. Wait, say it again. So you wipe from front to back. For yeah, sure. you're wiping from front to back. Not wipe a lot from of back people to tell you, a lot of people say you want to wipe... From um, front to back, when you when you you know bowel movement or I'll say number one and number two. Let's just keep it real like right. that. All right, like going back to elementary, number one and number two. All right, right. so if you want to do number two, you know, do not wipe from the back to front to clear your number two. That don't make no sense. That don't make sense. But for some reason, some of us may reach down that way to wipe. No, that's crazy. I don't know, who I don't know do how it, you do that. You but gotta, if it's in your mind, stop. Y'all have to follow Armani Trey Niner. This is a man <laughs> who gave his perspective on this whole wiping situation. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, he was talking to the men and the women. Uh-huh. He was like, men, then you wonder why she don't want to go down. Because yeah. she, yeah. Because your, your sack is, 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 yeah, <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't right. It ain't, it ain't kosher. <laughs> so women, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Right. Front to back. You're going to have blue waffles. Front. Oh my God! I seen that. That was terrible. Oh my God! No. Oh God! That. Ooh. What? Was, you seen the picture of it before? Ooh. I'm gonna show you. No, don't even show her that. I don't, don't even, even want you. you to do that. Kind of like, you know how you was talking about your energy. This. No, 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 no. Don't even look at it. We don't want to see that right now. 
Look at Swag face. Swag, you never seen Blue Waffle? Oh, you don't no. want to see it, bro. Yeah, you, I'm about to you show not, you don't want, No, we don't want to see it. Uh-oh, so everybody going to look for it now anyway. Because y'all talking about it. You want to see it? Blue Waffle? I seen it. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Blue Waffle. Blue Waffle. It's, 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 a, it's, it's something it's, that happens to the vagina. It's, yeah, it's, uh, <gasps> it's nasty. Look it. Oh, it'll make you want to. It'll make you want to oh, not no, ever. Let me see it. No, you want to see it? it. I think that. Yeah. Oh, it may be more detrimental than it falling what? out. Ah! What happened? Right. Oh, my God. This is terrible. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, that was our guys part of the night for y'all. <laughs> it it happened. That's what happened to it. I don't know. Oh, How do you go to the doctor with blue waffle? Like, hey, I'd be scared to see the doctor. I would if I be had that. petrified. Mm -hmm. I would be like, uh, I would want it to fall out. Just I let it fall out. out. Take it search. away. Look, I got to delete I that off my search take history. Yeah. Take, take it, it off. Take, take all of that. Take it, it off. It my cousin just look, said. My cousin out. said, I don't know what kind of it, conversation. Let me tell y'all what blue waffle. It you. looked like it looked like the like the what is it prelapse? Like it fell out and got ran over by a Mack truck. Oh no! Terrible, nasty, disgusting. Swag, you found it. Swag, looking it up. I hope you looking at it. Don't type in like blue waffle Look and at his face. on my face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't oh, unsee no. it. You can't unsee it. God bless him. Listen, listen. Oh, somebody said Soldier Boy face blue waffle. I'm telling you, that's why. That's why I told that um girl, don't be going around here talking about just because it's curable, it's yes. okay. You are gonna have blue waffle. We no. must be this conscious. Okay, all right, all right, guys. The blue waffle just took us all the way out of the. So now y'all really for real, white front, front to back. Mm -hmm. Front to back, guys. That's how you need Period. to wipe. Use water and, and use water dry. and pat dry. So when you say use water and pat dry, does that mean if you peeing, you shouldn't be wiping? You should be patting. It I'm pissed. just trying to be yeah. You know, yeah. transparent with the people. Right. And myself. So if you're using and water, myself. like we was talking about earlier, just, which she used um, the spray bottle. The spray bottle. Yeah, just pat it. You know, pat, 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 pat it dry. dry. Clean it up. Pat it dry. Do not go all the way to your behind and bring it all the way up to your vagina. That's just key. Remember that. Don't swipe yeah, across your yeah. behind and then swipe into your vagina. Okay. Period. Just remember that. Period. Rule of thumb. Don't do that. All right, all right for the people that miss you in the beginning and, and you dropping up all your information, please tell them how to follow you, how to get in touch with you, how to find you in the city if they're local. Yeah, how to get all appointments, of that all of that. Okay. Um, I am currently at the Balanced Body Spa um, here in Augusta, Georgia. Right. What's the address? Tell my address. It's all right. Balanced Body Spa. No, you look can it Google it. We can Google, Google it. Google, Google it. it. Google. Balance Body Spa, balancebodyspa.com. My name is Demetria Warren on the website. You got a new name, Demetria Blunt. Um, on Facebook, you can find me, Demetria B. Love on Facebook. Um, Divine Feminine Wellness at Divine Yonis as well. So follow me. We got a lot of things coming up. Also, too, with, um, with the Yoni Steaming, I'm putting together an online course for a lot of ladies that would like to learn how to do yoni semen and incorporate inside of their practice if they're massage therapists, I'm also teaching that. Mm -hmm. Or if, um, because you don't need a license really to actually offer it um, because you can do womb stimulation. So um, I can also teach you how to set that up as a business for yourself. So go ahead and follow me and I can, um, you can be in the place when I launch that information for you. No yes. doubt. Listen, y'all, we appreciate y'all every single Thursday tuning in right here on Round Here Radio. So God is gossip. Awesome. Yes, yes. This was a fantastic show. I have a whole lot of notes. I hope you guys had a whole lot of notes. If you're on my live, please tune into the replay. And as you know how we do every week here, we have conversations for the nation. nation. Thank you so much for stopping by, Mr. Demetrius. It's been a blast. My yes. pleasure. My pleasure. And, and, and we time. definitely spread it love. Spoke truth and, and shared, shared knowledge, knowledge with, with the, the people, people tonight. tonight. We tonight. definitely Listen. did. So we love y'all. Peace and blessings. And y'all have a good night. It's out. Kayla signing out. Yes. That's great. That was great. Mm. I learned some stuff. Boy, me and my yoni about to get real <laughs> connected. Oh, Jamal, I always you okay? Them them oh. I, was, I was so hungry, <laughs> bro. I was imagining it was some. Brown or something. Stop it.
Marcus Lawrence says your cookies are being prepared, Kayla. He loves me. You see how he come and jump and find me? Yes, I'm coming to get him right now. That's Cheesecake Topia if you don't know. <laughs> he made me some strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake cheesecake cookies. Okay, so mm. that means she coming to get her cookies. What about you? We like to eat here around here. Y'all know Marcus loves me, man. But we like to eat too down here. Bring Let me show some. you the picture. Let me show y'all the picture first of all. <laughs> yeah, you live close. Nah, I don't need the sugar. Y'all know y'all live, y'all know yeah, y'all live right here. want to do uh, that. So okay. look, Swag. So. We signing out. That was a great show. Please tune in to. I don't eat cheesecake, so you know.